was your week? I'm trying to say. I got You always ask me that, and I can't. By the time we get on the air, I'm like, what did uh, I do last week? I forgot week? the notes. I forgot the notes. Did you take notes? I took a couple notes. Oh, I didn't see it. Yeah, we'll forget about it. We, we cannot. Don't need, we don't need those stinking notes, man. Let me go. Let me uh, let me kick this off right at the top, and I'm going to get the bad news out of the way first, okay? okay. And then you know I'm going to rant about the snow. Yeah, and All there's right. a new hopper out there, too, if you wanted to bring that up. There's a new hopper. Yeah. Right. Um, oh, so the car, yeah. there's three things, four things, because of the car as well. There's four things that I want to rant I about. That was the bad news. Right I'm interested off the top. now. Go ahead. And, and I'll make them give me like two or three minutes of pop. Okay. Okay? Number one, just before we came on here, about an hour before we came on here, breaking news comes out that this ISIS terrorist group, okay, okay, who is out in, I believe Jordan is kind of where they're based out of, this ISIS terrorist group are kidnapping anyone and everyone that is against them, and they've had American hostages, How do they they've had Japanese hostages, um, well, people that are spies and people that are in the country, people that don't believe in their beliefs. So what so happens how do they know is, who these people are? well, like there was a Jordanian pilot who they shot his plane down. He tried to swim away. They went after him. They captured him. Damn. He was a bloody mess, and they captured him. Okay, torturing people. What ISIS is doing is Listen. they're making demands to the United States and whatever country they have their hostage, and they're saying. We want $20 million, and we will release your hostage back to you. If not, we kill him within 24 hours. And they, they set these one or two, you know, day deadlines. So what's been happening as of late is if the demands aren't met, and nobody wants to collapse to these demands because it's no. ISIS, and you're not going to give them $20 million. I wonder if, if you the, give them $20 million, all that does is support... It, it encourages them to do it again. Oh, right. we can get another $20 million. We can get away with somebody. it. Well, no, they're like, oh, if we get another guy, we get another $20 million. But, you know, I ever, $200 million. Two, yeah. That's what it was right, in, the, in the chat. They I, wanted I, I, I wonder million. if the people in charge that make these decisions, if they say like this, like, like when nobody's looking, they say, go ahead okay. and kill them. Go ahead and kill them. And then they hang up the phone, and then they're like, yeah, when we get on the news, they get on the press conference, like, we told them we will give you your $200 million. we told so, them not to do anything, and then they, they do it, this is just to save the money. Yeah, all. so so what's been happening is... Not to make is, light of the situation, but... What's been happening is... a curious mind. ...is they've got these hostages, yeah. and the latest demand, somebody in the chat room, uh, Chris Brown, it was $200 million. And of course, nobody's going to pay two hundred million dollars to ISIS. It's oh. going to fund. It's going to fund them, and it's going to allow them to get bombs and, and everything else. Okay. It's a lot of quiche. Two hundred million dollars. It's a lot of money. So okay. they're not giving in. So what happens is ISIS goes out, and I I kid you not. And unfortunately, I've seen some of these videos um, on websites, and they film it. They are in orange jumpsuits. They film everything, and then they release it. And the media, they send it out to the media outlets. What happens is, these guys are in orange jumpsuit, jumpsuits. They have them cut a five or ten minute message yeah. saying, your government, da 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 didn't, you know, give us $20 million. You could have saved my life. All you had to do was give them money. And then, after oh, the they speech, make the guy themselves give the They speech. make the guy oh. do a speech. And then the other, the, the guy probably guy, sounds scared to death. He's scared he knows he's to about death. To die. He's scared to death. Then they make him get down on two knees, they're handcuffed behind their back, and the guy takes a knife and slowly starts cutting Oh, that shit again? I okay. remember that video back in the day of the guy getting his head chopped off. Then, oh, that still then, burns in my brain. Then, after it's all done, and the head is on the ground, they pick up the head, just the head, yeah. they pick up the head by the hair, they hold it to the camera and say, all you had to do was give us $20 million. Wow. It is the most gruesome thing. I saw a video of it one time, and it was. I had to cut it off. Yeah, I know. As soon as, and the guy, he's got his eyes closed, and, and they do it. So, about an hour ago, a video comes out of ISIS. Okay, and is that the name of a group or a, a leader? It's the uh, Islamic State of. Okay, it's a group. Something. Okay, Islamic it stands for State. Islamic State um, International International Leadership. Uh, who knows something. Knows? Okay, ISIS is is what they're called. Okay. About an hour ago, they've got a hostage, 
and they gave them 24 hours or 48 hours, whatever it was, they were going to do a prisoner exchange. You give us back one of our people, and, and this is a suicide bomber who was going to go. Anyways, they wouldn't give in to the deal. The latest, the latest thing that they did, they had a guy... Who was it, Bush? Uh, we don't negotiate with terrorists. The guy that they, they, yeah. the guy that they killed today was the Jordanian pilot who was in an F-16 fighter jet, or whatever it was, shooting down bombs, shooting down bombs, and they shot his plane down, he parachuted down, went into the water, he tried to swim away and escape. They caught him, they gave 48 hours to give him back. So, they've been beheading people. What happens today, and they just released the video, They've got him locked in a cage. He's in a cage. Okay. Okay? And he cuts a, 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 you know, your government. All you had to do was do a prisoner exchange. A guy takes a match, lights a piece of paper, lights it. Apparently, the man was doused in gasoline beforehand. So the fire goes, and the guy starts burning burning he is screaming in this video death defying screams he drops to his knees the guy on fire yeah he drops to his knees collapses burned alive then they come and a guy and then they're all masked these isis fighter a guy in a bulldozer comes up and bulldozes the cage and piles it all up into a fucking Can pile a where this guy's it it is the sickest. Yeah. These people are the sickest motherfuckers. It's disgusting, man. It is fucking disgusting. Yeah. And they've done the head thing, and now they're taking it a step further in burning people alive. It is. You were telling a story yesterday. Oh, it makes me sick, man. You were telling a story yesterday about a guy that they it was it these people they tried to burn alive and they didn't fully burn him alive. He was still alive. Or wasn't that a local story where somebody was burnt but they didn't kill him? So that was the at a at a party in like a oh the two party. kids yeah at a college party they asked the kid to leave and the kid wouldn't leave. Tell that story. Well, there was a there Quickly, was a college though. there was a college frat party basically what happened. Uh, a kid showed up. They didn't want him to be there. They told him to leave. Yeah. He he wouldn't leave. The guy fucking cold clocked him. Mm. Uh, to, another guy jumped in. They beat cold the shit out of him. him. Yeah. Cold cocked him. Um, uh, they beat the <coughs> shit out of him. He was unconscious. They then took him, put him in the bed of a pickup truck, drove him a couple of miles, took him into the woods. The guy was moaning and groaning. Yeah. They threw gasoline on him, lit him on fire as he was moaning and groaning, and then took off. But it didn't, didn't think, kill him. Didn't think it did kill him. I thought you said oh, it, it didn't, did and he was burnt so bad that... No, he was burnt so bad that he passed away from the injuries, but he was moaning and groaning uh, at the party that he was unconscious, yeah. and then they took him to the woods and lit him on fire. Unbelievable. Man. Just All because they didn't want him in his life. All not because a cool they kid. didn't want him You're in not part of the cool crowd. Get out of our party. Bam! It's just some of the shit that people do. Sick motherfuckers, man. Disgusting. Yeah. What goes through people's minds? That's Brandon's legitimate psychotic. Like, that's it's legitimate. Oh, wow. It makes not me... The, Whatever the word for psychotic is when you extend it. Psychoticism or whatever that word is. Don't, don't. I mean, Psychosis. listen. I'm telling you, I've seen it with my own eyes. The media report that I just read had the graphic photos and the video. I saw it. Don't Google it because the images are the up ISIS? there. The ISIS. Yeah. The images are up there. Well, dude, everybody uh, remembers that famous video back in the day where they did the beheading. Yeah. Oh, my God. The guy was like praying, 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 and then they start and it's like... The blood squirting on his face, and you hear, and you well, see his eyes bulge real big. Ice has got him handcuffed behind their back. Yeah, 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 no. yeah, so they can't do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just got to kind of perk up. And, and when you know, there was a famous video that went around on the, when the internet was pretty damn brand new back in the day, like ninety nine, ninety eight, whenever it was like imagine? you still had to dial up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know when you had yeah. to dial. Up. And I remember that was the big video going around on all the websites and shit. And I remember seeing it, and to this day, I can't get that image out of my head. Can you imagine? So don't Google this ISIS shit. Can you that imagine? Shit, especially what, what, people, the, the age that's the people that's listening right now, teenagers, young 20s, you'll never get that image out of your You brain. won't. You won't. It is just the most you'll graphic, have nightmares. It'll terrify gruesome, you. disgusting stuff that you will you will see. It. It's, <clears> it's disgusting, man. Oh, uh, but, you but told Can it. you imagine yeah. if you're them and you're, you're handcuffed and... You know it's coming. You, you can't no do nothing to wait. And, You're yeah. doused in gasoline. You got no choice. You can't do anything. And their families. Yeah. Who, who have to? That's probably the last thoughts going through. There. Oh, I don't even want to think about it. But man, <coughs> you got to move on to something else. 
<coughs> yes, please. funny. <clears throat> please. You told a story, I'll tell a story. Mine's really quick. There's this video. I just posted it. You have to check it out. MMANews.com. It's a video of a guy that claims to be an ex-UFC fighter, although I didn't reckon, I didn't recognize him at all. Excuse and, you. Excuse. We got manners now on WZR. <laughs> we talked about a beheading. <laughs> Burp is too much. Um, no, it's, it's on MMANews.com. It's a video. A guy claims to be an ex-UFC fighter. I don't recognize him. I think he's full of shit. Maybe he's job or MMA fighter or some kind, who knows, he's a big fucking guy though, Okay. and there's this little girl, 110 pound girl, named Carrie or something like that, 110 pound girl, yeah, tiny, she ain't a tiny Dude, 110 girl, 110 pounds is small for a girl, what are you talking about, That's 110 right. pounds, my sister's 110 pounds, and she's tiny, bro, you're, you're saying a little girl, oh, no, no, a young girl, I said, like oh. 18 years oh, old, oh, all right, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. all right, cool, like an 18, and she looks like Angelina Jolie, she said a young girl, I'm thinking like, this yeah. seven, eight years old, no, 110 right. pounds, but all right. focused on the wrong thing. All right, right? anyway. So she's about 18 years old. She looks like Angelina Jolie. She's hot as shit. The dude dares her to punch him in the face one time as hard as she can. She fucking le leans back and pow! Mm -hmm. Knocks him. He falls right on his face. Goes fucking flat out unconscious, man. Gets up. He's stumbling around. She's like, and, it, and it's just... I guess the story verbally doesn't do it justice, but if you saw the video, it's this little dainty, sexy girl and this big, burly-ass motherfucker, and, she, and, and the punch sounded vicious, too. Right, right. She leaned back and said, Wah! Oh, I thought there was, like, a Chop climax where the guy got up and hit her back or no. something like that. Nothing? All right, all right. No, no doubt. It, but it was a UFC fight. He claims he's a UFC okay. fighter. I don't right. think he is, but Maybe either one way. Of local fans. Either way, you have like to see that. the video. It yeah. looks cool as shit. All right, no doubt. Here's the second thing. All right. Uh, second thing is, real quick, all we got to do is talk about Raw. I'll make this one quick too. So I warned everybody over the weekend. Yeah, you want to get out of here on time? We're halfway through. I know. I warned everybody over the weekend that the Northeast was going to have a big snowstorm. I told you guys down in New York City, uh, down in the South, you guys were going to have a mix, probably start of snow, change to a mix, and then rain, and then maybe some snow on the backside. That's what happened. Up here, tell them, Boone. How much well, fucking snow out the do window, we have out there? I can't really look out the window. Can't look out the snow window. Snow is covering like half the window. The snow is halfway yeah. up the window. And we're up a hill here. too, by the way. I can tell you. And we're up a hill too, by the way. <laughs> so there's like snow. Down, you know, it's about. I can tell you. Just guessing, and you're good at guessing. I'm not good at guessing. I can if tell I you the exact amount snow, that we I'm got. Guess. Okay. I would guess. 10 inches to 12 inches of snow. For the current storm, we had 16.8 inches laying on the ground. Uh, for the latest storm. Before th this storm hit, we had seven inches of snow on the ground. We just added another 16.8. I wasn't listening. So what's the total? So 16.8 plus seven. So 17 plus 23. seven. 23. So we've got about two feet on the ground. Four, but 17 plus seven. Yeah, that's two about feet. About two feet. Now, you haven't been outside to walk around or drive. I didn't drive, but um, I, walked out, I looked out front and shit. Yeah. The banks are, are massive everywhere. I mean, just... Huge, yeah, this huge scooping snow them over the sides to get the. Road They're clear. talking <laughs> about another one to three, two to four inches uh, tonight and tomorrow, and then another one to three, two to four tomorrow night into Thursday, and then I'm warning you ahead of time. There's supposed to be another storm coming on Sunday night and Monday, which looks big for the entire Northeast. We're talking New York City, but. Still a lot of time. It's only Tuesday. Raw next week? We're talking next Monday. I don't know where Raw is. Are they in a but danger of a? Uh, I think they come back to New York next week or something. I don't know if they do. They they may be in trouble. But I mean, listen. It's only Tuesday right now. But the models are hinting at a big, big storm coming for next Monday and Tuesday. So we're gonna keep an eye on that. But we've got about two feet. Not only that, but this snow ain't going anywhere because it's not getting above freezing for well, at it least was freezing last night for at least. The next 10 to 15 days, we're staying in the 20s, teens, single digits. Right now, it's I gotta like take a piss. negative it's cold three degrees. Shit. I got to take a yeah. piss last night. It's it was so cold that it was scary cold. Like, I really thought I was going to get like cold. pneumonia or something. It is cold. I had to take a shit, so there's nothing I can do. I'm stuck on the toilet, yeah. and I'm freezing. And I'm wishing, man, I wish I would have brought my blanket in here and, like, wrapped up on the toilet because it's it freezing. Is. Yeah. And then you come back, and I forgot. I didn't have the heat on because I'm trying to save, you know, electricity. Yeah. So I'm fucking, I lay down, and I turn that fucking heat on. But then it takes yeah. ten minutes for the room to heat up. I'm, right, I'm right. fucking shivering and shaking and shit. <laughs> and then here's, you know, uh, like I said, you haven't gotten the drive around or anything like that. No, Neither I'm have I. Yeah. As if anybody's listening, I need to do me a favor. And this is the last thing. Then we're moving on. We're getting into Monday Night Rough from last night. Here's the deal. The other day, 
Uh, yesterday, I went out, tried to start my car. Wouldn't start. I said, what the fuck is going on here? Oh, jeez. Knocked on the neighbor's door. I said, hey, man, I got jumper cables in the car. Can you come out? Can you jump my car? Comes out. We jump the car, right? Starts up. Fires up. Everything's good. And then every fucking light on the dashboard starts going up. It's saying check engine light. It's saying the windshield. And the lights, I'm clicking the lights. The lights won't turn off. The lights are on, right? The windshield wipers are going back and forth. The window, I go down with it. It won't go back up. Everything is just, it's a wreck. Now, Fuck. people are saying, yeah. people are saying maybe it's the computer system of the car. If that's the case, all you gotta do is unconnect the battery, I, take the ba battery, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then reconnect the battery. I did that, and it's still dead, so I need to jump start it. So, I just got done, which is why we're running a little bit late here. Yeah. I went down to AutoZone, which does a test for free. They hook your battery up to a little system. They can tell you what's wrong with it. What, well, the guy. The with you? I took the battery down. Oh, okay. The battery is over in Dan's car Real right quick, now. Before you go, yes. Yesterday you said you eventually got it started, but something else. Oh, I got it started, and all these lights started going off. And the radio's not working. Oh. I think it's not well, a fuse. But if you got it started, then it's not the battery, is it? Well, I think the battery may be dead, and I had a jump start. That's why. Oh, you jumped it. I had somebody else. I thought juicing. you said when you tried to jump it, it would just make the horn go off. Well, the horn would go off. The horn wouldn't stop beeping, and the radio's not working. Some things are working. All the shit. So somebody said it's probably your battery. It's probably a dead battery that's messing with that's the computer. So anyway, I just got done. I went down to AutoZone. I took the battery in, and uh, the guy told me that battery looks like it's dead it just doesn't have enough enough can you juice just get a new battery? it's a pretty new battery but he says you know sometimes that can happen From when it's cold? this when it's this cold yeah. outside where it gets down and last night it was negative 20 degrees that's here. what i said it's freezing negative last 20 night. degrees last that's night freezing. Yeah. so somebody so the, so the guy said you know a new battery is going to cost you a buck a buck 25 yeah. you know to get a new battery he said this is a fairly new battery. He says, you should have a warranty on this, so take it to an interstate battery place where they sell those types of batteries, and hopefully I can get a replacement for it. And you're, um, you're doing this tomorrow, the $125 battery? Well, I'm going to do it tomorrow, okay, so but if I have a warranty on so, it, then I don't pay anything. All right, well, then I was going to say, if you're spending 125 on the battery tomorrow, that means you're really spending $145 tomorrow in total. Because you owe me 20 bucks from a little football oh, game. Oh, God. Later on Sunday evening. Here's the last thing, all right? If anybody knows anything I'm about cars... I'm never wrong. He if anything, ah, Shut up. Hey. If anybody knows anything about cars, right, yeah. can you please email me at webmasterprowrestlingscoops.com. Do you think it's the battery? Do you think it's the computer? Do you think the engine... The engine's not fried because go. it starts up. So they'll email you. It starts up. So webmasterprowrestlingscoops.com. Last thing. Last thing, non-wrestling. Yes. The Super Bowl. So first and foremost, Crazy fucking how end fucking of that great game. was that game? The game, I missed the first quarter. How great? was that game with work but no the, the game was amazing yeah it was, it was a the, fun it started fun off as like a the boring defensive battle mm -hmm. and then as the game went along it started getting crazy and then by the end there was a climax like i've never seen in my life in a football game here between the dude flipping and flopping and catching it somehow oh, that catch was insane that locked the game yeah the hell, all they had to do they're on the one yard line they've got three shots at mm -hmm. hitting one yard with all of their timeouts and the best running back in the lead and a quarterback that can run pretty good too yeah they had three shots to just pound it in one yard and their first fucking play here's here's they the throw deal a screen pass here's, and they get intercepted here's the deal everybody's calling the dumbest listen. call in the history of football if you are new england mm. You know that they've got Marshall on Lynch, and you know they've got Russell Wilson. You can so know all you, you want know, three times they're You it. know damn well that they are going to run that so ball. what? In Pete Carroll's defense. No defense. In Pete Carroll's defense, he knew that, listen, everybody's at the line, okay? Everybody's at the line right now. They're going to rush us. They know we're running the ball. So you know what? Let's try to fake them out, and let's throw a pass real quick. And they did. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. No way to fake him out. Quarterback sneak. But, if, or you could pass it and risk if, it in a turnover. You know. if, yeah, if they threw it and they made that catch and it was a touchdown, everybody today and yesterday 
would have been talking about that was the most genius no. call. And yes! They would have been saying, yes! what a risky call that paid off. That's what they would have been saying. They would have been saying, that what was, a gutsy that was, call, but man, it worked. Well, they wouldn't be it saying, worked. God, what a brilliant idea. If I was Pete Carroll, I may have done the same thing. I may have tried to think, I know you got Marshall. You'll never get but, a job as an offensive coordinator or coach ever but, in your life. But man. everybody would have been talking about it that... Everybody knew that New England's defense was coming because they were going to run the ball. They faked him out. They got the touchdown. Smart move. Way to go, Pete Carroll. Unfortunately, it didn't happen that way. Bro. And I get Three it. I get shots. it. You're going to get that half a yard, whatever they needed. Three times, even if they know it's coming and they give their best defense. I know. You got three shots. You're getting in there. I don't one disagree. Way I don't disagree. I thought that on, on first down or second down, on second down, you should have ran at least the first time. At least, okay? yes. On third down, that's where you can do maybe, maybe the fake. You surprise them, maybe. And if you if you run on third down, then you've got it. You've got to throw Even it. Even then, if you're going to pass, it should be a shotgun. You should fucking get as goddamn you know much time to fucking find somebody as you can. What if, what if they run the ball in New England's defense, which was very good it all was, game, by the yes, way? Yes, it was. What if they, they stuck Marshall and Lynch, and they back him up five yards, and then they stuck him again? And they back him up another five yards. Five right? yards is good because you got a little more room to work with with your run plays. You can go to the side. You I can don't know. Just punching it right in. I, I think they made the dumbest call they could in that situation. It was a dumb call. In that I situation, let's say there's just for number's sake, let's say there's eight options of right. plays you can pick. Right. The very eighth and last one that they should ever have picked is the one they started their fucking drive with. It was stupid. It was dumb, and they paid for it. I get it. I get it. I'm the not rest saying, of their lives, they will hear. That's Bill Buckner. They will hear it for the rest of their lives. Bill Buckner lives. and the I fucking know. Red Sox let the ball go between his legs. That's the equivalent of what we're talking about here. Such an easy, simple thing. And he screwed it up. They should have went with Marshall. Yes. They didn't. Or they even Russell Wilson. They tried to fake him out, and it didn't work. Even Russell Wilson work. could have pounded it in. He gets injured so I long, he's got a year so to recover. I feel so bad for Seahawks fans, man. I really, really do. And I was rooting for the Seahawks, and I owe you $20. You owe 20 bucks. I lost the game, but I'll tell you what. What a great fucking Super Bowl. It was a great game. What an awesome defensive that battle last play, in the first half. That last play that uh, that uh, Seattle had on offense was amazing. Where a guy was on the Can ground, one thing? bouncing it around. Can I say one other yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Katy Perry at the halftime. Yeah. Listen, you may not like Katy Perry. You may not like her music. But I'm talking choreography. I'm talking, yeah, it's, uh, it's overall performance, overall that presentation. Was awesome. It was, it was a cool looking presentation. That was awesome. She I still out. say Bruno Mars last year was better. He was good. He was well, good. Katie Rock. Katie Rock. Katie Rock. Katie came out in the big dinosaur yep. thing that was walking. Missy she Elliott went around. Came out. Yep, she yeah. went around. Uh, she was up there on a platform. To be a star, or like the be a star, be a star thing. thing. Yeah. Dude, listen, I, I'm not a big fan of Katy Perry's music either, okay? I'm sure a lot of you guys aren't either, but you got to be able to respect a good performance, and that's exactly what that was. Yep. It was a great performance, and uh, she killed it. Now, listen to this. Commercials and highest, commercials. Highest viewed Super Bowl yes. in history. No, not Super Bowl. Highest viewed anything in the history anything of TV. in the history of it TV. It was the most watched Ready? show in TV history. Not just cable, in TV history. Can I tell you the number? Raw draw, raw draws four, four million. five million, yeah. right? Four, five. Five, million. Million. five at, the, at the max. Raw draws, you know, four million, we'll say. Yeah. One hundred and fourteen million people. I that was the average. Okay. 114 million. Katy Perry during halftime? Yeah. 118 million. So more people tuned in for the halftime yeah. show than the well, average Well, you get the, the girls and, and the people then, don't care about sports too. Then, after yeah. it was over, after it was over, where they were doing the celebration, 121 million, uh, 121 million people watching. So it peaked. It peaked. With 121 million That's people crazy, man. watching, 121 million. How many households? How many households are, are set up for TV? Like that's, that's probably like eight, 80 percent of TVs in America was turned on and watching this. I would say before. about 80 percent were turned on and watching this. Well, I don't know. We gotta have more than 120 million people. Yeah, uh, you're right. But not everybody has TVs. People use yeah, Netflix yeah, and people use. You know, there's a lot of fucking people. That's for sure. And uh, one other really quick thing. It was Anderson crazy. Silva and Nick Diaz both made the returns. Yeah. On Saturday night, yep. Uh, Diaz is a fucking nut job. He treated Silva like anybody else coming out. What motherfucker? What? Come on, motherfucker! At right. one point, he lays down and he puts his fucking hands at laying on the ground like this. Diaz is ridiculous. Saying, "Come on, bitch!" 
Then he mocked Silva and he put his back up against the cage and he stood there and he said, come on in, come on in. I'll lean up against the cage and let you. That's what but, Silva did to Stefan Bonner. But Silva does it all the time, too. Yeah. So payback's a bitch, It was man. him giving him he his had, own treatment. Yeah, he was giving him a taste of his own medicine. It was a That's fun... exactly what it was. It was a fun fight. It's fun. I thought it was an exciting fight. I've heard people uh, think it wasn't that great. It, it, it died out in rounds four and five. It kind of uh, died I mean, out. Still, every bit. once in a while, in every round, at least once or twice per round. And I grant you that some of the action in, in some of the rounds was boring to slow down. Right. But at least once right. or twice in every round, they'd have a firefight, and they would yeah. just start slugging. Right. So right, right, right. I thought it was, every round had its moments. The first round was exciting as shit. Right. Uh, I thought it was a fun fight. In the end, Anderson Silva won. Right. Dropped to the ground. I was crying. Oh, my uh, God. Did you hear him crying? <laughs> yeah. Diaz, Diaz picked him up and said, don't cry, man. Don't cry, man. Don't cry. No, there ain't no crying here. Yeah, yeah. There ain't no crying here. And then uh, like Silva's talking about retiring now. and uh, So was Diaz. Diaz, Diaz kind of after every fight. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Diaz actually fought the fight with a broken, uh, or his arm, his, his left arm was all fucked up. So he did a good job. Right, right. You know, and he only had pretty much one arm. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to think. There was so much news coming. Uh, out Diaz of that show. didn't show up at the uh, post fight press. Anderson, no, he didn't. No, he did. uh, Diaz did. was there. Anderson wasn't. No, they were both there. I thought. Or there. Dana said we're going to take a 15 minute break. Yeah, or something so the first like that. time they took right, two right, breaks. Right. One because okay. right. they had initially said Diaz wasn't going to be there. Right. So they took a break. Silva came in. They wrapped that up, and then they took another break, and uh, they said Diaz will be here by himself. And so Diaz basically had his own press. Right. Conference. Exactly. And Dana yeah. was kind of. In between taking Yeah, he questions. was gone after that one. Let me ask you this. Yes. What'd you think of Monday Night Raw last night? Uh, see, I already forget. I gotta um, be honest with you. I thought, compared to recent weeks, recent months... What'd you guys think of the chat room? Run through it. What'd you guys think of the chat room? Yeah. And I'm gonna do plugs here in a second, but... Get through our live chat room, wzronline.com. Motherfucking.com. I'm gonna do it all. Play. I know. But, um... Mm. Uh, what did you get? I thought Raw, compared to... The past several months of Raw. I know last week they were at headquarters. By the way, the ratings, and granted, you're coming off the Royal Rumble pay per view, and everybody and they wanted to see the Royal Rumble for free. Yeah, and everybody wanted to see what was going to happen yeah. with Raw snowed out and canceled. Tradition, that too, time. there was a curiosity for that, and traditionally, every year, the top two most viewed Raws, night after WrestleMania, and night, night after, after the, Rumble. Uh, the Rumble. Yeah, so yeah. it was going to be up either way, I'm killing time for you, and right. then what? So, everybody, but the ratings came out, uh, at least viewership numbers. They're and insane. Last week's Raw, though, was ahead yeah. in viewership. Well, numbers, it only so. did 130,000 more last week. Yeah, so, so the rating not that may much. be about the same. Damn the rating, same. rating for this week may be even higher. Yeah, the final rating. Despite, no, no, it'll be, a little, viewership. it'll be a little bit lower. Sometimes the viewership know, from week to week... I know, but if you know the numbers, it'll be... A, it, it, it might even be a... If you round it up or round it down, whichever way it goes, right. it might be the actual same number okay. you know, rating, but right. the viewership was uh, down this week. A little I bit, thought, not much. I thought Raw last night, compared to the last couple of months, every week we come on here and we say, oh my God, Raw was terrible, yeah. blah, blah, blah. I thought it was a better show than the previous ones that we've seen okay. in recent months. And we'll talk about it. I mean, yeah, I'm already forgetting, so ask me after. We are, we are post-Royal Rumble now. We're headed towards WrestleMania. Yes, we're headed we are on the road to WrestleMania. And this is where things get good. This is where they've got to shake things up. This is where they've got to bring in new angles, yeah. new storylines, and set up main feuds. I still okay? hate that they have a pay-per-view between Rumble and Mania. I do, not, you got to focus on fast lane right now. You can't even really start focusing on Mania, although you pretty much know where everything's going towards Mania. Right. It right. was interesting. Unless I missed it, there wasn't that. They always have that graphic. 72 days until WrestleMania. 87 days until... I didn't no, see it. They kind of down way it back. Night. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah, they see it. did have it the week before, I believe. Right. So right. they guess they didn't air. Unless I missed it. Maybe I missed it. Well, let's get into it. We'll do the high points and the uh, and the low points like we okay. normally do. And then uh, we also need to talk about that Steve Austin Triple H podcast. That's worth talking about more from than last this. night, yeah, which yeah, was yeah. awesome. It's good. Awesome. It's good. I thought it was... Was better good. than the Vince podcast. You Vince don't. Podcast. No. I thought the Triple H uh, Austin podcast was better than the Vince Austin podcast. No. No? No. All right. We'll talk about it here in a we little bit. Talk about it. All right. Let me get the plugs out of the way. Then we're going to run down Monday Night Raw from last night. We'll do the high points, the low points of Monday Night Raw. We'll move on. We'll talk about the Steve Austin Triple H podcast following Raw last night. And then in our numero dos, take your rapid fire questions and your live phone calls as well. We're also going to get to a bunch of news and rumors over you got the your notes in there, past right? week. I do have my notes so in we'll there. Get to so that in a I'll grab them during the, uh, yeah. the commercial break. Anyways, the official. Yes. 
Before we go on to wrestling, one more MMA thing. Okay. The next pay-per-view is UFC 184, headlined by Ronda Rousey versus Kat Zingano. There's two women fights. Well, yeah, and the co right? first time ever, it'll be an all-women show. So far, they might get this guy back on the show. But anyways, I was okay. building up to the main event was going to be... First one and... Oh, Chris Weidman and... Uh, and uh, Vitor Belfort. Oh, I, it was going to be Chris Weidman and Vitor Belfort. I got that all by myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, you've seen it. Uh, For but the uh, title, yeah. But Weidman is now injured. He's injured, but he'll only be gone for like four to six weeks. He said uh, on an interview with Helwani yesterday. But the interesting thing is Dana White offered Vitor Belfort an interim title fight with Leota Machida to keep the card together. Belfort turned it and down. Vitor doesn't want to do it. Turned that down, but said I'll fight. I'll fight Mark Munoz for the interim title. Ooh, so he won't huh? fight the third rank guy, but he will fight the fourteenth rank guy. So is he scared of Medina? Yes. Is he scared yes. of Medina? Is yes. He? Really? There was two guys he offered to fight. Both of them were like below the top ten. No, really. What's what's his reasoning for not fighting Machida? Machida what is South Paul. Okay. And it takes longer than four to six weeks, or, whatever, or uh, two, three, what do they got, uh, three to four weeks to get ready for a So he's not ball. saying that he's against fighting him, he just needs more time. He did say he would train. fight, he would fight Machida if they completely stripped a uh, wobbin of the title and made it for the real title, not an interim title. He's afraid that he, if he loses against he Machida, won't get another title shot. he's going to lose yeah. the title shot against Weidman, right? Correct. Okay. Correct. All right. I so he looks right. like a bitch in this stuff. He does look like Especially a bitch. Especially because he's got all those history with drugs. So are they doing and Vitor guys. and Munoz or, or what? No, they, they said that's, they're not giving a number 14 ranked guy a shot in an interim title. That's retarded. Okay. All uh, right. But uh, all right. They're, they're still, Dana said at the Pro Fight press conference, there's one more option they're going to try and get Belfort to agree to. We don't know who it is. Okay. But there's one more fight they might get Belfort to Any accept. rumors? No, no. No. I mean, you could look up no, and down no. the middle of your rankings and kind of guess, but, you know. Uh, excuse me. Maybe, maybe, uh, 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 Luke Rockhold. <coughs> Excuse me. Luke Rockhold, Rockhold would, be, there, uh, yeah. would be a good fight for, uh, for Vitor. It'd be a really good fight. Well, they've already fought and Belfort knocked him out, but he was popped for steroids afterwards. Right, so. right, right. All right, here we go. The official home, the official website of WZR TV Tuesdays, WZRonline.com. We are on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube as well. Go to Facebook.com slash WZR Army. Go to YouTube.com slash WZR Archive. And we're on Twitter as well. All you got to do, go to WZRonline.com. Top navigation bar, social media tab. There's a little drop-down menu. It's got all the links to Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. WZRonline.com. Dot com, the official home of WZR TV Tuesdays. As always, yes. on Tuesday nights, yeah. we have our live chat room on and in progress. Where? Lots and lots of people in there, as always, well, tonight. How can I get there? Where? Yeah. How can they get there? WZRonline.com. Slash chat. WZRonline.com. Slash chat. Get in there. Lots and lots of people in there, as always, tonight. Great people. We're going to be taking your live questions. We're going to be taking your phone calls in our Rapid numero fire, dos. All of it. Yes. And by the way, the YouTube, YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com slash WZR Archive is back up. It's running. We've got Good. archives. If you miss the show every week, you can catch it at youtube.com slash WZR Archive. Shout Daniel, out to Daniel Humphreys, Humphreys. Yes. does a great a job. Very, very good he, job. He's awesome, he's man. He's a man, bro. All you got to do is send him the archive. He oh. pieces it together. He, he puts had, images where up. Where we had Shields, he cropped Shields out so that I could promote Shields good just dude. in an interview. And then good the dude. Show. Yeah. Good dude. All right, so anyway, <coughs> here we go. Here we Are you go. ready? Monday Night Raw from last night. We've got about 20 minutes to run down Raw. We'll That's come we back. Need. Cover high, low, yeah. Right. On the flip side, we'll talk about the Austin and uh, Triple H podcast. Yeah, yeah, all right? Yeah. And then we'll just kind of do rapid fire news and Mix it uh, all together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, now we're numero dos. So we got 20 minutes here. All right. Let's go. Here we go. Are you ready? Monday Night Raw. So it kicks off. They Denver, announced. Colorado, your old hometown. Denver, Pepsi Colorado, Center, baby. Pepsi they're in. Pepsi uh, Arena or Pepsi Center? It's the Pepsi Center. Pepsi Center. The Pepsi yeah. Arena used to be here in yeah, Albany. I, they I always got the, the, uh, the Times Union Center. Yeah. But they're in Colorado Springs tonight, too, which is another venue that when I lived in Denver, I would drive the hour to Colorado yes. Springs, the World Arena, which is kind of a small arena. It only holds about 8,000 people. Is that it? But yeah. What if they set yeah. it up this certain way? Can they no, get in? No, 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 no. It's more like a civic center, to be honest with you. But they call it the World like Arena. Like the Mid-Hudson Civic Center? 
I'm bigger than that. I mean, the mid Hudson Civic Center in Poughkeepsie. That's yeah, where they run House of, Hardco- House of Hardcore and everything that's else. That's the one with the green I mean, shit on the ground. Have you ever what been to the Glens it? Falls Civic Center up north? Which one's the one with the green crap on the ground? Like oh, the that we saw ECW there in Schenectady. It was the uh, the Sportsplex. Okay. In uh, in Schenectady. No, but I either went to the uh, the one in Glens Falls with you or the one in Poughkeepsie. We went to the one to Schenectady one, and then we also went to an, uh, an either a Poughkeepsie or a Glens Falls, and then we've been to a bunch. Think of, of think of an arena, uh, the World Arena where they are here tonight. Think of an arena that has the lower bowl but no top bowl, but the World Arena does have a top bowl. It's basically, think of a big arena, a big size arena, but squish it down this way. And you still got the bottom bowl, and you yes. still got the big bowl, but it's not as big. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you can fit about 8,000 people in there, but it's it's always a great crowd. Albany in, uh, right there? That's Albany. That looks right good. There. Yeah, right. Yeah. Awesome photo. Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WZR. Check See it a out. photo of the Albany skyline yeah. up there. So they announced on dot com earlier in the day that Triple H, who promoted on SmackDown, that he was going to make this major announcement on this week's Monday yeah, Night Regarding the controversy from Royal Rumble. Controversy yeah. from the Rumble. So everybody's thinking, at least I was thinking, something to do with Sting, right? Well, I told and he you. Addressed Interest. I told you before the show what was gonna what it was gonna be. They were gonna yeah, make yeah. this the main event of wrestling. No, you did, you did. Yeah. Uh, based off the pre-show, which is you know what they strongly yes. hinted at. So, anyways, Triple H comes out and he does make those changes to Fast Lane and and WrestleMania. Could it affect the mania. Let yeah, me ask but you. It won't. Uh, okay. Tell tell them the changes first. I mean, basically, what they're gonna do All right, tonight. So we'll, we'll we'll skip the opening segment and just tell you what happened at the uh, as a result of the opening segment. We've got a new. We've got a match for Fastlane. It is. Do you need this up or can I put the chat? Uh, you can get chat. Okay. We've got Roman Reigns versus the winner of a match later on Raw, which is Daniel Bryan versus Seth Rollins. Okay. Whoever wins, Daniel, it's a lot to keep up. It with. It is a lot to me. keep up with. And not after Raw though. Now we know. What's now going it's on. simple. But yeah. Anyways, but we're about to do three <laughs> what ifs. I right know. Now. I know. So what ifs? All right. So what Daniel Bryan. Yeah, what if the kid cried during the show? <laughs> right outside the door. Daniel Bryan versus Seth Rollins. The winner. Gets Roman Reigns at Fastlane. Correct. Roman Reigns at Fastlane will be putting his title shot that he earned via winning the Royal Rumble against the winner of the Rollins Bryan match from Raw. He'll be putting that on the line at Fastlane. At Fastlane. And then, as it turned out, Bryan won. We'll get into that later. So, at Fastlane, it will be Daniel Bryan versus Roman Reigns. The winner of that match goes on to face Brock Lesnar for the title. Now, let me ask you at something. WrestleMania. Yes. Why are they doing this change? Is it because they've soured on Roman Reigns? And I don't think it is. I love what you came up with last night, and I'm going to run with it, and I'm going to bring it up tonight. I think they might do that. I re- Dude, what you came I up with last it. night, I, I don't... The only problem is... Is what that your idea, or did somebody no, else... No, 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 I just, off the top of my head, I said I that. think you're right. Yeah. I think you're right, because it sets things up perfect. I was going to say, they can't minute. do it, but look at who, who, who he's fighting. If anybody could get the crowd to boo him and not, you know what I mean? If... Ziggler, we won't say what it is yet, but if Ziggler works against anybody else, they're cheering Ziggler no matter who he's fighting. All right, but, but it's Daniel Bryan, so they could get them to boo Ziggler if it's Daniel Bryan, because they'll cheer Daniel Bryan. Right. Well, let's <clears throat> Triple H and Stephanie are out there, right? So they're they're making all these changes, and Roman Reigns winds up coming out and saying, "What What are you talking about? I've already owned a shot or earned, earned yeah. a shot at WrestleMania. I'm I'm not doing this." And then out came uh, uh, Harper. Uh, yeah, all of them. Yeah, all Rollins of them came, came out. out Daniel Bryan came out. Yeah. And they're all like, well, wait a minute here. I should be in the main event of WrestleMania. Da, 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 yes. da. So this is where Triple H sets up the match, like Boone talked about earlier, where tonight on Raw, Live. it's going to be Daniel Bryan yes. against uh, Seth Rollins. Yes. <laughs> Daniel Bryan against Seth Rollins. The winner of that match, like Boone said, yes. goes on to fast lane to face Roman Reigns. Now, Daniel Bryan wins the match. Yes. All right, we can we'll skip the main event Roman and Reigns. then come back to yeah. it. with help from Roman Reigns. So Daniel Bryan winds up winning this match. So now at the end of Raw last night, we've got Daniel Bryan against Roman Reigns at fast lane. Let's go in the fast lane. Skip ahead a little bit. I just figured out why they're doing it. You asked me why. I know okay. why they're doing it. Now. But wait a minute. So oh, I hope I don't forget while you babble. I know what it is now. All right, just keep that Go thought. On, in the quickly, quickly. So we've got Daniel Bryan 
and and Roman Reigns at at Fastlane. Now, what I'm saying, and this was Boone's original idea, I'm I'm stealing it from him before yes. he says anything. I think that you guys all know Dolph Ziggler and Daniel Bryan have cam- have been campaigning yeah. on Twitter. And the word hey, backstage is that they're going to work too. So let's let's face each other and we'll do it. And Daniel Bryan yeah. is totally open to it. Dolph's like, yo, I'm open to it. I respect you. They both respect each other. I give you a da- playing da- off da- what da- you're da- saying. Da- I'm not changing the subject. Okay. Apparently, the word going around backstage that I heard was that Daniel Bryan was going to be working with Sheamus, and he went out of his way right. and asked. He said, well, as long as I'm in a kind of a nothing that can I work with Ziggler, and we Ziggler can just tear the it. house down. Right. Yeah. So and they're already yeah. teasing. They are. That's how they're building up with social media. That, yeah. that they respect each other. So let's say, let's say this. We go into Fastlane, right? We already know what the main event is. It's Daniel Bryan against Roman Reigns. All right? Let's say this. Mm. Dolph Ziggler runs out and screws Daniel Bryan. Turns heel, turns heel, screws Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan loses the match. Yes. What does that lead to? Roman Reigns won at Fastlane. He goes on to face Brock Lesnar for the WWE title, right. which was the original plan all along. Yes. And we still get Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar. And, and, now, Daniel Bryan says, what the fuck, to Ziggler, you screwed me. Now, We've got Daniel Bryan yes. and Dolph Ziggler, not only that, and we've got Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar. Not only does it set the matches, matches up, not only does it set the matches up, but the crowd, they're worried, is going to turn on Roman Reigns and want Daniel Bryan want main event, Daniel, Daniel Bryan. Bryan main event. Right. If they do the Ziggler screw thing, now the fans are wanting to see Daniel Bryan and Ziggler because, because they love Ziggler and they love Daniel yeah. Bryan, and, and now, now they get to see that heel. match. But now that Ziggler just turned heel, it's like we want Bryan to fuck his ass up. You know what I mean? We still want and Bryan. The house down the we process. still want Bryan to fuck his ass up, but we love Ziggler as well. So Daniel Bryan and Dolph Ziggler, you know what? We like it, and Roman and Brock, which. Nobody's gonna care yes. about. Well, Nobody's gonna well, give a fuck no, about. No, no, well, 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 before we I lose it, get those two matches. All right, okay. Now, before I lose it, the second scenario: if they don't do Ziggler, or even if they do, they can still do this some way or another. What they, you said, why are they doing Ziggler or uh, 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 Reigns and Bryan at Fastlane for a show? Why are they doing that? Okay, if it's gonna be Reigns winning anyway. Again, it's about the crowd and them not shitting on that ma- Reigns Lesnar main event. Now, if you have, if you've noticed, Reigns has been doing subtle heel teases. I'm just here to get paid at the house shows, he Recently. says. Recently. I'm just here to get paid at the house shows, he says. Last night on Raw in the locker room. How, is that a threat? Are you threatening me? And Brian's like, no, nah, man, no. Nah. Well, I don't care what it is. Get out of my locker room. Heel edge to his character, right? Is that because is that because the fans have at been At the same time, him? Brock Lesnar's been doing little baby face teases. Little bit. Little bit. Now, at Fastlane, Roman Reigns goes full-fledged heel, beats the fuck out of Bryan, trashes him. They want the fans to boo Reigns now. What about Rollins? Let's get him to really boo him. What about Rollins' is Let's Nothing get him to really. Okay. I don't know yet. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Let's well, get them all to, talking about let's it. Let's get him to really boo Roman Reigns now. And if you want a reason to boo him, we're going to give you one. We're going to give you your favorite wrestler, Daniel Bryan, the guy you think that should be in the main event instead. We're going right. to have Reigns trash him. Uh-huh. Meanwhile, Lesnar turns babyface. Now, Lesnar will easily get over his baby face because the fans want to cheer him. The only reason they don't is because they hate hate Reigns. Yes, so they hate Reigns. They love Lesnar. Main event. Meanwhile, if they do the Ziggler thing, Ziggler, Brian go off on their thing. They're satisfied with that. They hate Reigns now for a purpose, for a reason other than, oh, you got Brian's spot. They hate him because of what he's doing now. They love Lesnar. They want to see Lesnar kick his ass. They kind of... Pleases nope. everybody and it takes care of the crowd in now, a sense. DJ in the chat room says, "Why would Ziggler screw Daniel Bryan? Because he would be turning heel." Yeah, I mean he's a babyface now, but if he were to screw Daniel Bryan, he would be the heel. I mean, you're not going to do a babyface and a babyface. No, you well, need you a heel and you need a, you, you, you could work the house down. But the thing with Ziggler, he could cut a promo like, "Yo, you guys are so for Daniel Bryan. You got him in the main event of WrestleMania last year. Right. I've been busting my ass putting on great matches for years too. Right? Why didn't you? Why didn't you get rally behind me like you did with him? Blah blah blah. You know, I you love, can sell it perfectly. I love your idea about uh, about Dolph Ziggler coming down and screwing Daniel Bryan. And then what you were just talking about, we would have a heel Dolph Ziggler against a babyface Daniel Bryan. Yeah. 
Now, what you were just talking about, we would also have Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns. Yeah, and they could switch them but around. Heel Reigns, baby would the Lesnar heel baby face of, thing yeah. be switched is what they we could. were talking about. Because I think the crowd's going to do that anyway. The crowd's going to I do too. It's going to be a pro Lesnar crowd, anti Reigns crowd, because you're going to get the most diehard fans at WrestleMania like you always do. Always. They're going to love Lesnar unless they know Lesnar's leaving after Mania. Remember right. that one year it was Lesnar and Goldberg right. with Austin as referee, and they knew Goldberg and Lesnar were both leaving after that night. They shit all over that match. You sold out. Get the fuck out. Let me get the F out thing was new at the time. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. We know that Roman Reigns isn't... We know that... That makes sense. Boone Boone should be a a writer writer in WWE. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Boone came up with the Dolph Ziggler thing uh, last night. To me, it just seemed obvious. obvious, I'll be honest with you. But let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. So, let's say that they switch up Brock Lesnar and and Roman Reigns. Let's say that Roman Reigns is now the heel. Yeah. Let's say that Brock Lesnar is now the baby. Yeah, face. It's we know we know that Brock yeah. is probably going to be leaving WWE after WrestleMania. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But yeah, with Brock going babyface, we know that Roman Reigns isn't that great of a promo cutter. Okay. <laughs> what happens with Paul Heyman? You, does Paul you go? Know where I'm gonna does go, Paul go, go with Roman? He goes with the who, promos? He goes with whoever wins. He goes with the heel. So maybe Heyman helps Reigns win at, Les, at WrestleMania. Or what I say? Heyman. We would have Reigns Heyman win. and Reigns together. And then Heyman does the talking for Heyman Reigns. Heyman does the talking? Yes. Well, they try to establish Reigns and get him more over Correct. as a heel with Heyman alongside of him? Correct. Makes sense. Correct. Makes sense. But in order for this to happen, we would need Dolph Ziggler and Daniel Bryan... No, we necess- we wouldn't need them. They're a we wouldn't need them in because equation, yeah. right, but they could set that up at fast lane. fast lane. You could do the turn with Reigns right there if you wanted to. I don't know if they will. There are so many yeah. different directions <laughs> that they could go to. <laughs> That's what makes Manny interesting. And the other thing is, Bray right? Wyatt is clearly talking about Undertaker. So do they know something we don't know? Is Undertaker definitely That's, coming? All right, let's get into that. So okay. Bray Wyatt cuts a cryptic promo. He last did it on night. SmackDown first, and then he did it again on Raw. He was. We're going to match on Raw last night. This is before the crypt Before the promo. I came in and told you, yeah. And you came in and you said to me, yo, he keeps saying, do you see me? Do you see? And he was Did looking you see at the, that? Do you he was, hear me? He was looking at the yeah. camera and he's talking to somebody. Yeah. Do you see me? Do you, yeah. do you hear me? Yes. Who is he talking to? Clearly the Undertaker. And then they had him in there last night with Dolph Ziggler, right? I think it was Ziggler. Did he beat in the match? Did he beat? I don't remember. And I'm thinking to myself, been. why would why would Heck. Wyatt defeat Ziggler? And he beat Brian on Raw last week in Brian's He's first Brian. match back on Raw. So he keeps winning, yeah. right? They're keeping and look how they made him look like a killer in the Royal Rumble. They're, he had the Roman Reigns spot in the Rumble this year. They are they are or, or did did Rusev beat Ziggler or did did he we'll find, go out ahead right now. find it? Um, but somebody beat Ziggler and it was Bray and, Wyatt was Ziggler. All right, so Bray Wyatt. And they're making him look strong. And, and they're not having Bray lose. And now he's doing these subtle pieces of, oh. do you see me now? And do you hear me now? Promos. And then the promo yeah. later in the show yeah, with Bray. Right. They used to fear you. They used to fear you. Now, now they, they fear, fear me. me. Right. So he's clear. They want to see. They want to see the dark guy come back again, or whatever he was saying. Like, it is. It is pretty obvious. Clearly yeah. referring to the Undertaker now. The other thing is, Triple H said last night during his opening Raw promo that at Fastlane, I'm calling out Sting. Yeah, well, and that's Sting been advertised, out. the face-to-face confrontation. So, at yeah. Fastlane, the, the, the last show. pay-per-view, you're going to set up Sting against Triple H. And it's a free month, so they're trying to get everybody hooked into these storylines on the free month of the network. Right. Get them hooked. Right. So that when Mania season rolls around, they let their subscription <coughs> go and pay for it this time in right. March. Because apparently that worked like gangbusters, because I don't know if we mentioned it last week. They've hit a million subscribers. Yep. We talked about that last week, right? I'm not sold on that. A lot of them are going to drop off. That's the thing. Nah, because That's I think it worked that free month in November or December. When it was November, Survivor Series. November, Year. right. I think it worked so well that they said, let's do it right the month before Mania. Let's right. Let's do it, because apparently in November, it had the free month, everybody signed up, and then it automatically rolled over, and they right. didn't exp- uh Because then you got to log on and go out of your way to cancel. A lot of people probably were like, ah, fuck it, we'll just leave it. Yeah, yeah, now, if, yeah. you, if you're in a free month in February and you right. sign up, right. 
they said fuck it for December. What happened in December? Nothing really. Yeah, yeah. You're more inclined to say fuck it. Let's just leave the subscription throughout March because Mania is right. part of March. We'll get it for ten bucks instead of seventy on pay per view. Right. They're gonna get a lot of signups, I think, in this three months this month. And if not, a definitely a big surge coming for Mania. Definitely we for could WrestleMania. Get, right. Right. It should be like one point five by the time Mania happens. Yeah, I don't know. Including uh, international and all we'll that, man. We'll see. All right, so listen, <coughs> we're gonna come back. Uh, we gotta go to yeah. commercial break. Okay. But Stone Cold Podcast, we gotta get. We're to gonna that, come man. back. We're gonna. Uh, there's a couple more things on Raw. We that need I to talk some about. Those. I want to talk about that podcast. We will. We will. Okay. Curtis Axel cutting a promo last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want to talk about that a little bit. And then there was a couple other things. But based off what we just the Randy Orton rumor and the Boogeyman, coming, we got yeah. we got two minutes. Okay, based off what we just said, and these are strictly, this is Boone and I, our rumors. WrestleMania. You yes. ready? Uh huh. Roman Reigns against Brock Lesnar. Okay. For the WWE title. Who's the babyface? Who's the heel? We don't know at this point. Yeah. Triple H against Sting. They're going to set that up at Fastlane. Yeah. There's your two big main events. And Baker White. I'm going to say... Undertaker Wyatt? I, and Undertaker Bray Wyatt. Yeah. That's the third one. Fuck yeah. That's the third one. I'm going to say Daniel Bryan against Dolph Ziggler. That's if supposed, they go that that's route. That's supposed to be the opening match of the show, by the way. supposed to be Daniel Bryan and Sheamus. No, no, no. The, well, the rumor I heard was Ziggler and Bryan open up WrestleMania. All right, everyone. but the original plan the was Daniel Bryan and Sheamus. Yeah, yeah, no, but... Okay, anyway. All right. So we've got those four matches. Yes. That was the original plan, right? But, but the plan, if, that, the, if the they plan go, that they're talking about now is yes. that Ziggler and Bryan's happening, A, and B, it's going to be the first match on the show. There you go. So, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, yeah. That's what we... Well, that's not an question. opinion. That's what I've heard. No, you're right. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. So that's four matches. What am I missing? I'm not um, even really thinking. I'm looking at songs and stuff right now. Triple H Sting, Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar, uh-huh. Dolph Ziggler, Daniel Bryan, Rusev Taker, or not Rusev Taker, um, Bray Wyatt Taker. Yes. Rusev. Who's Cena. Brit? And Rusev Cena. Yeah. That's the other one that uh, that I was missing. So there you go. There's five matches right there that look, not confirmed, but look pretty fucking pro. Well, about a month or two ago, we were trying to guess what the card could be. Looking at the roster, we're like, man, this year's going to have nothing. Yeah. They always find a way to get some cool shit. What about Rock? Does Rock wrestle? No, he's not wrestling. No? no. Rock's not, Rock's not going to wrestle. He's busy, yeah. Hogan isn't going to pass a physical, let's be honest. He's and if he was, they would have started working on a guy with him, you know. Hogan, Hogan would have been up already. Yeah, you would have you thought. So anyway, there's five matches right there for WrestleMania that we'll know after Fastlane coming up if Dolph Ziggler comes out. And, screw- and then, what about Seth Rollins? Seth Rollins what about Randy his briefcase? Seth Rollins and Randy Orton's the match for Mania, supposedly. All right, and Seth then Rollins, Randy Rollins Orton. could cash in. What like, about that Let's briefcase? say Reigns wins the title, and then Rollins cashes in and takes the title right then and there, and then they feud So you would, have, you would have Orton and Rollins at WrestleMania. That's the rumor. Rollins, I'm not saying that. Yeah, I'm just, Rollins, uh, let's say this. Let's say at WrestleMania, you do Seth Rollins, Randy Orton, kind of early on in the show. Yeah. Roman Reigns somehow defeats... Brock Lesnar wins the WWE title, win, yeah. but he's down, right? And he's beat up, and yeah. Roman Reigns, he just faced Brock Lesnar, yes, right? Yes. He's beat to hell. Yes. Seth Rollins' music hits, comes out, cashes in, WrestleMania goes off the air, Seth Rollins, well, the WWE t- they like, like save, that. they like to save, a, but it's already been done. Ziggler cashed in the night after WrestleMania one year and won the title, remember? You, just, you don't want to forget but they like Rollins. to save. I know, but they like to save a big thing for Raw the night after WrestleMania, True. and that could be the big thing. True. Rollins cashes in on a beat-up reign. He just went through a war with Lesnar. Don't you have one year to cash in and didn't... I mean, that would be the day after, not that you could change that. Yeah, he didn't win the, the, the briefcase at WrestleMania. He won it at the Money in the Bank uh, pay-per-view. At the pay-per-view, yeah. did he? Pretty sure, yeah. Because they do... They I don't remember. Do. No, they had the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, not a ladder match. They didn't do the ladder match. No, you're yeah. right. You're right. Because they used to do the Money in the Bank ladder match at WrestleMania. They get a bunch of guys on the card. Now it's at the now actual pay-per-view. Well, right, yeah, right. the, the match that they used to do, it was either a pre-show Battle Royal right. or the Money in the Bank ladder match to get a bunch of people in. And then the pre-show Battle okay. Royal last year okay. evolved into the Andre the Giant Memorial right. Battle Royal. So he's got a little bit more time to cash in that briefcase mm-hmm. if they're going to go the one-year route, which they normally do so 
All right. A lot of so that works shit, out. Man. That works out. Yeah. I think we ran it down pretty good. We'll see what happens at Fastlane. Listen, this is what we're going to do. What are we going to do? Take a quick commercial break. We'll come back on the flip side. we got to get out of here on time tonight. I like I'm it. Trying to get us out here, yeah. but, uh, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. But uh, there's so much to talk about. I know. Listening. But anyway, um, so we'll take a quick commercial break. We'll come back. We'll finish up Monday Night Raw. It's kind of the high points, low points. Only a little bit more that we're going to run down. Stone Cold Podcast. Stone Cold Steve Austin yeah. Podcast. The Triple H. we got to talk about Hell that. Yeah. And then, oh, hell lots yeah. Lots of news. Uh, lots of news and yeah. rumors uh, from the past week. And your live phone calls and rapid fire as well. Please make them one line tonight, yes. guys. Please. And we might not get Please. to all of them this week. We may not. We're going to try we and get to Here's what we'll do. We'll get to the, we'll skim them and get to the best ones. So try and make your if questions. If you do one line, yeah. we'll get to them. We'll get to the one-liners and try and make your questions good. Not stupid jokes and comments. So we'll scroll through, get the good ones, the best ones, the quick one-liners. Facebook.com slash... Ryan Clark WZR right there facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WZR top post will ask you for your rapid fire questions and comments we'll get to them in hour number two and uh yeah anything like that do right there uh, Acer is not going to be read we'll be back after the commercial break if you guys have finished reading Acer's yeah uh, small book small book four page essay in the chat room go ahead check it out I love you Acer WCO online dot com dot com motherfucker.com slash chat WZR online dot com slash chat your list WZR TV this guy right here Matt Boone Right, Clark, we'll be back right after this. You fat fuck! You fat fuck! <laughs> you fat fuck! <laughs> oh, shit, man. <laughs> Something else, man. He's all Something worried about his weight, man. I'm like, dude, you got a sweater on and a computer coat. Nobody can tell. He has a hat on. He's good to cover it up. Maybe one day you're going to six pack like me. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Let me listen. We're honest on here. We're honest on here. And listen, I'm going to be the first one, before I even get into this, <coughs> I'm going to be the first one to tell you that over the last couple of months, I've gained some weight, all right? I've gained 10, 15 pounds. I will do it every it. time. I can see it in my face, right? We go into my room, my office in there, and we walk out of the room. And as soon as you open the door, as soon as you open the door, you come out, and there's a mirror. From the bathroom, yeah. staring you right in the face. And Boone says, he turns around to me and he, and he goes, Damn, man, I got fat. <laughs> I, got, I got fat. I said, You're not fat, bro. I don't notice it. You're making it. me sound like a broad. I don't bro, notice it because I'm here with you yeah, every you day. You can't tell what's but, gains weight when you see him but every day. I will say this. Somebody in the chat room who probably hadn't tuned in in a month or two yeah. said just last week, yeah. Damn. Ryan got fat. Oh, Ryan, yeah. And that right there was my sign that I got a little bit fat. If you go back and watch the archives from a year ago, I ain't this yeah, fat. Yeah, no, no. no. If you look at the old archives, I've put on more than All you. All right. Trust me. A, B, last week somebody... I got it in the cheeks. Ooh. I got a real fair, you know, fat Last week cheeks. somebody said something like, damn, I used to think Boone was anorexic. Not anymore. So oh, like oh yeah. man. Yeah. And it's a self-conscious thing that you and I both have. Girls, let's have be it. honest. Guys aren't supposed to have it, but I kind of do for some reason. I don't want to be fat. I, I don't either. You remember me as a kid when growing up. When you first came up here years ago. Yeah, what? Well, even before that, I, well, when it was 2001, you know how I know? Because I came here right after 9-11. My parents okay. thought I was crazy. Like, you're going to go to New York on an airplane? Yeah, but we're not in right New York City. We're not know that. State. People who aren't in New state. York think New York is New York. I know, I know. They don't I know. really realize but anyways, yeah, when I first moved here, I was about 300 pounds. I had hair down to my back. Yeah. I had a beard down to, like, here. Right. I was enormous. But even but before that, dude. even before before that, I was skinny. Okay? Yeah. And then before that, as a little kid, I was enormously fat. All I right. picked on in school and the whole fucking thing, right? Elementary school. By middle school, I was skinny. High school and a couple years after when I moved here, fat again. Then right. when I moved back to Florida from here, got skinny again. Now I'm getting fat again. So I'm not self So you were the guy. I'm like, oh, it's happening again. You were the guy. You were the guy, the little kid. You know, the little fat fuck that got his tongue stuck to the light pole in uh, in the Christmas story? Little yeah, fat, yeah, yeah, chubby, yeah, 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 chubby yeah, yeah. kid, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that little fat fuck. I'm <laughs> picturing Dumb and Dumber where he licks the fucking the pole and gets all right. fucking uh, 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 trying to get it off. <laughs> No, that's not Dumb and Dumber. That's a Christmas story. No, they, I guess they're making fun of Christmas story. Dumb and they Dumber. They must be doing... Yeah, they must be making fun of... They're sitting on a ski lift where they pick you up and you know how you... Ralphie! 
Right, you know Ralphie from from the Christmas Story. I've never seen it. I've seen like it. You haven't seen the Christmas Story? Black and white Christmas movie. Yeah, it's on in the yeah. background every once in a while. Sometimes every right. Christmas they were a marathon yeah, on I've PBS seen, I've or seen something. It in, like certain people's houses in the background, but I've never watched it. Ralphie, no, oh, Ralphie. No, is he the guy? Is it the one where they go to the Santa up a sled and like Santa kicks him in the head and like knocks him down the fucking sled or something? No, it's that's not a, a little, funny. It's that's a little it. fat kid with glasses. Yes, it is. It yeah. is. It is. You're right. You're right. You're right. Absolutely. A Wonderful Life. What are you thinking of? What are I'm you thinking, thinking of a Christmas Story. Okay, maybe it's a Wonderful Life. I'm a thinking. Christmas Story has Ralphie and, and everybody else. And Christmas Story is not black and white. Yes, it is. Oh, it um, is. No, it's wait a, a minute. Wonderful Life. It, it looks. It's almost black and white. It's I think old. it's when they first had yeah. color, and it I was. I think it's, yeah. it's a Wonderful Life is black and white. And okay. Christmas Story is the is the color. Right. Right. And they've got the mother and the father, and the father's just a, a nut, and he breaks the I've lamp. Seen it. He always know. breaks the lamp. Anyway, but uh, so here Long we go. Story short, we're both fat, and we're getting back into. We're not that fat, room. dude. Like <laughs> I go down, I go down to Storts, and I go to other places. Right, I was at the DMV. And they Christ say, "Wow, you week. look very not fat." What do you no, mean? No, I was at the DMV last week, and you want to see some fat people? And there's oh. probably there's probably some people. Uh, look, I'm not saying I'm being I'm, honest. I'm, I'm being honest. Over but here there's probably you know. some of you guys, and they're very honest with me in emails. I'll get emails. Hey, right, I'm a big guy. Well, so what, what size T-shirts do you got? I was going to say, if you were to buy T-shirts, you got, have to be honest. You yeah. got three XL, four XL, five XL. Yeah. Yeah, you know, but they're honest. They what say, hey, right, hey, hey, right, I'm, I'm a big guy. Uh, do you have any? There are people a lot bigger than us. What I don't size shirt are you wearing? Right? Do you really think you're fat? No, but you didn't yeah. listen to my own speech. Then I said it's happening again. I wear it. I've gone from skinny to fat, skinny to fat, skinny to fat. I'm on the verge of becoming a fat guy again. A fat guy is like 250 plus pounds. Did okay. you hear me again? You missed it. I'm on the verge of becoming. I know when it starts. You're not even close to. But I'm on the way there. Trust me. Each month I gain weight, bro. So eventually, yeah. a couple months from now, I'm gonna be a big fucking fat guy. I've known the routine my whole life. I've gone from skinny to fat to skinny to fat. To well, stop eating. It's not the. I don't eat fucking barely anything. It's the beer, man, and the fact that I sit in a chair and I don't do anything as far as physical movement to get, you know. That's the problem. That's the uh, problem. When with I you and I, there's no Florida, metabolism that. Yeah. That, when know. I first and, and the older you get, the harder it is to yeah. get the weight off. Oh yeah. When I first moved back to Florida, I ate like a pig, but yeah. because I was finally moving around and right. hanging out with friends, right. I, didn't matter. I lost a hundred pounds in like yeah. six months. Yeah. Some people said it's impossible. No, you didn't. It's impossible. I'm telling you right now, I lost a hundred pounds. Right. In six right. months. All right, all right, all right, all right. So here we go. We got to get back into uh, Monday Night Raw from last night. Get to our live chat room, wzronline.com. Fatguy.com. Not motherfucking fat guy. Yeah. Wzronline.com. Oh, I screwed up the actual address. Slash yeah, yeah. chat. Okay. But wzronline domain too. WZRonline motherfucking fat guy dot com slash chat. Yeah, that's a wrong address. I probably didn't think of that. WZRonline dot com slash chat. Get in there. Lots and lots of people in there as always tonight. One other thing I want to talk about during Raw. I'll pull up the Raw report and see if we missed it. Winter Flair's right. He doesn't like light beer. He thinks it tastes ug the uh, not ugly. We're drinking the beast now. Yeah. That's not light beer. I'm saying we should drink light beer. You don't get as fat. Oh, yeah. I think that's a myth. It's not a myth. I think it is. You drink a soda instead of real soda or whatever. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't there's know. There's less sugar, or, well, less sugar it's in not, soda, but there's less, it's not, less calories or something. They, they say Coors Light, da 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 da, da, da I love Coors Light. You know what makes That's you my fat? Favorite you know what makes you fat? What? The yeast. The yeast in the beer is the, the shit that makes you, uh, that's what makes you fat, the is hops? the yeast. There's yeast in beer? What's the hops? Hops is, uh, I don't know, I heard it in Superbad once. It's oh, yeast. Oh, it's got extra hops. I know it beer has hops yeast, in it. doesn't it? Isn't there yeast in, oh, in I beer? I know there's hops in beer, though. Contains no additives or preservatives. Yeah, they don't uh, have the ingredient breakdown on a beer. Yeah, they don't. It's not in there. But I know it has yeast. All right, well, whatever. Yeast. Anyways, uh, one other thing I want to talk about uh, like raw last infection? night. It's got yeast, man. Your beer is made with a lot of yeast, yeah, and that yeah. makes you fat. Uh, anyways, uh, Curtis Axel. Last night. Yeah, he, he well, the Royal Rumble, we, we brought this up last week. The, not the Raw part, obviously, but uh, that he wasn't eliminated. He wasn't was attacked old. from behind by Eric Rowan and then never officially entered the match to be eliminated. So he was the only guy in the match that was never eliminated because he never officially entered. Right. So there was technically 29 men in the Royal Rumble this year, not 30. 
Well, it was a 29 man over the top battle royal because there wasn't 30 entries. He got attacked, like you said. And he and never he, made it to the ring, so he never entered, so there was only 29 entrants well, into the Royal Rumble. That's true. Unless you count uh, Rowan, because Rowan wasn't an entrant, but so he got in the ring and was involved. He goes on Twitter, and he's basically saying, What you're saying is, I got attacked, I should be the winner of the Royal Rumble yeah. match as I was never eliminated. Last man standing so, technically because he was never here. Well, I mean, was Reigns. You know, so he basically came on Twitter and said, I want my WrestleMania shot against Brock Lesnar. So, last night on Raw, his music hits, right? Yeah. He comes out. We called that before. got a microphone too. in hand. We said, I bet it'll be... Let me tell you It'll something. be Axel, Reigns, Daniel Bryan. We were wrong about the, the match, but we were like, I bet they do something with that. Curtis Axel... Reminds me of Mr. Perfect. No, no <laughs> you know, you know, uh, this father, yeah. right? You're gonna uh, listen. I've got a personal beef with this guy, and y'all know it. I'm, Larry I'm, Henry? No, no. This dude reminds Randy. me. Curtis Axel reminds me of Lance Storm. Okay, where? Oh, he's not where, boring, where, is he? where? On a microphone, the dude cuts a promo, and he can't. Listen, if I could be serious for a minute. They tried to give the guy I Paul Heyman. I like him a little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a good impression, wasn't it? Let me, let me give you If I could be serious for a minute. A little bit? Yeah. A little bit? Yeah. He does it. Way All way. right. If I could be serious. But anyways, the yeah. dude sucks ass on the microphone. He was all right, right last night. That's where I'm going. Oh, okay, okay. They tried to give the guy Paul Heyman to get him over and it failed supposedly Triple H is really high on him he thinks he's on Axel yeah listen he's a good worker he's a good wrestler yeah. I don't have a problem with that he, he thought he was like, going to be like one of the top guys so That's they bullshit. give him they give him Paul Heyman <laughs> shit he was in the ring with Triple H one on one it was him and Paul Heyman and Triple H at one point face to face it was well if you remember when they first put Paul Heyman with him he fought a bunch of main event guys like right Triple H, yeah and and he didn't lose to him. He didn't beat him. It was like a draw each time. You know, a draw or DQ or yeah, something like that. He wouldn't lose to these top guys. He would hold his own. And they were really trying to push him at first. But that lasted all two weeks. About two weeks. Before he stood in the background while Heyman was that. all about Brock Lesnar. And, and Axel just kind of stood there. Right. Right. Yeah. He became an afterthought. Did you hear that? What is it? Are no. they plowing out there? They must be plowing. But anyway. So, last night, guy comes out. Music hits. Got a microphone. Walks down the aisle. No, oh, no, no, not yet. He stands at the top of the ramp as he's walking down with the mic, and he says, Hey, don't change the channel. I've got something to say. <laughs> Is that what he said? Yeah, and then the announcer, just like you, the announcer started laughing, which pretty much made him look like a jobber, and JBL said, Go ahead and change the channel. JBL don't said, change the ta- JBL I've got said something Go ahead and change the channel. God, it's almost like Lance Storm. I know. Be serious, bro. All right, no, I, no, I, I forgot about that. Yeah, but JBL trashed him. You don't hear that. That I heard. All right, there's a big there's something's going that on. That happens all there. day. You don't hear that in your room. Well, I hear that, but I, but you keep talking so loud. Oh, okay. That, but anyways, so listen, Curtis Axel. Yes. On the microphone last night, I said to you, I think you were even in my room watching it. I said, look at this motherfucker yeah, showing yeah, some yeah, personality. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at him showing some personality. Standing on the top, pointing to the sign, and I'm going to fight Brock Lesnar. Yeah, yeah. Now, of course, he came out and got completely jobbed out when yeah. he hit the ring. I at least remember. it was for, I'll tell you right now, it was a funny line. Dean Ambrose came out, That's who it was. immediately threw him over the top, grabbed the mic, and said, there, now you're eliminated. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. But before this happened, Curtis Axel on the microphone last night was... Listen, he was pretty fucking good. Oh, well, that's a great. That's another match. He was got, good. That's another match we've got set up. This happened during this segment, so I'm not changing topics. Okay. Uh, Dean Ambrose threw him out to Darren. Now you're eliminated. And as he's talking, he's talking about how last week, remember he hitched a ride uh, to headquarters. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. He the said he saw all match. these famous faces on the wall of former Intercontinental champions. He said his face mm-hmm. looked good on the wall. Blah 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 blah. Right. He told right. Bad News Barry he was coming after him. And then Bad News Bear responded on the Raw Fallout video, which you can check out at WZROnline.com. Twitter as well. We went on Twitter. But yeah. yeah. Barrett responded on Twitter during the show. Mm-hmm. And then after the show, they interviewed him on video, Raw Fallout, right. WZROnline.com. You can watch the video. All right. Uh, and then he pretty much, you know, responded to the Ambrose's challenge. So it looks mm-hmm. like they're going to, well, not looks like, they're clearly doing an Ambrose Barrett feud, which I would assume. And Fastlane. Yeah, but I would assume because look at who's left. As far We just ran down all those names mm-hmm. for WrestleMania. Who's left? Well, he has so two other Ambrose matches. working for the IC title. They probably screw him for the IC title at Fastlane, and then he finally wins it at WrestleMania. I'll give you two other matches. 
Okay, for WrestleMania. Yeah. Probably for WrestleMania. And this kind of leads us in the Raw. But last night, all right, mm-hmm. and it's t- it's two different singles matches with two different tag teams. We're talking for Fastlane or Mania? I think at least one of oh, them. Oh, we're the, talking the for Mania. The Duff Brothers and the Mizdale guys. Yeah, yeah, there yeah. There you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, there yeah, you yeah. go. I so there's two of them. It. So let's talk about the Duff Brothers. Okay. First up, for years now, for at least two years, about a year and a half, yeah, yeah. Uh, almost two years. Well, no, because a year and a half, because Goldust wasn't even with WWE. He came back. Goldust and Stardust yeah. have been campaigning. You're right. Goldust was gone for a while and then came back. Came back. Remember, Dusty Cody. Rhodes was part of it and the whole thing. Right, right. So you got Cody Rhodes goes into this Stardust gimmick, and you got Goldust, who's always been yeah. Goldust, right? Oh, for the last... As far as WWE is concerned, other than a yeah. very early run in his career as Dusty Rhodes' kid, Dustin Rhodes, where he feud with the Million Dollar Man shit, he's always been gold dust. So player. last year, yeah, yeah, yeah. they were campaigning, let's do it, let's split us up, you and I, brother versus brother, WrestleMania. Let's do it. And they, if you remember, they had that spot in the Royal Rumble, it might have been last year, where it was still, where it wasn't Stardust, it was Gold, Cody Rhodes still. No, Goldust came in as a surprise return. Is that what it was? Either way, Goldust came in yeah, as I a surprise. Yeah, I said it wasn't Stardust, right. it was Cody Rhodes. Mm-hmm. So either way, it was Goldust and Cody Rhodes, not Stardust yet, he hadn't switched yet. And I think Goldust might have been the only guy in the ring, and then Star, or Cody Rhodes came out, it was the other way around. I think it was Cody Rhodes was the only guy in the ring, and then Goldust, and Goldust came, out. came out as and a this, surprise. And this huge fucking pop happened. Yeah. Where, like, and I remember watching, like, oh, wow, little brother and big brother. Like, it felt like a real moment. Right, it right. felt really cool, if I recall. Like, I remember watching it and thinking, wow, that is, like, really cool. Yeah. You know, like a cool moment. And you thought that last year, because that happened, yeah. that was going to be the year of WrestleMania made him a tag 30. Team. And then they made him a tag team. But the even tag. still, they made him a tag team. You thought by the time Mania rolled around that they were going to break they would them up. And there was rumors that they would and do that match because they were campaigning for it, like you said. And they didn't. And they didn't do it. They didn't do it. So. But that's because they took off as such a great tag team. Right, right. And Everybody was high. so good that they switched Cody to Stardust. Now Stardust. They got and now we've got Goldust and Stardust. Yeah. Now, with that being said, Stardust is basically saying, look, you know, you're fucking up. Uh, they started it, basically they started it at the uh, Rumble pay-per-view. At the Rumble pay-per-view. Yeah. Right. And then they continued on Raw last night in the ring. Right. Uh, St- Stardust yelling at Gold, uh, Goldust. No, I'm thinking... Backstage, they continue with a promo. I'm thinking there's going to be a tag team match at... Fast lane, all right? Correct. Uh, maybe them versus the, the Usos or something like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And somebody screws somebody, okay, at, at, at the pay-per-view. And then well, the full be, switch happens after that. And then we're going to get Goldust unless they do and, a, and Cody. Unless they do a, a six, six, one, two, three, four. Unless they do a six-man tag team match where it's Miz, Dow, Miz, Goldust, Stardust, and the Usos. Miz Dow and Miz is probably working with Uso, so the Dust Brothers would have to be working with the Ascension. Somebody like that. Yeah, they, well, some, but, one of those teams is going to be working with the Ascension. But either way... The other one, the Usos. Either way, Cody or Goldust is going to fuck up, and... It'll be Goldust. Goldust is going to fuck up, Cody's going to get sick Goldust of it. And Goldust will be and, like, sorry, please forgive me, and, Gold, and Stardust and turns... And Cody easy. just boom, yeah. or Stardust but boom. It, right? I don't know who's changing, because if you saw the promo on Raw last night, go, or maybe that, maybe that's a tease that they will change. Well, let's say that... Goldust called Stardust, he kept trying to get his attention, Stardust is murmuring back and forth, talking to himself, and Gold is like, yo, Stardust, Stardust, and Goldust finds his Cody, and then Stardust stopped, don't you ever call me that, right, 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 right. so Cody's going to be the heel, so he'll 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 clearly be the heel, but will he switch back to Cody, or stay Stardust, don't you ever call me that, that's true, but it could be a touchy situation, and finally snaps, and does turn back to a very vicious, a vicious heel version of Cody Rhodes, I think at Wrestlemania, we're going to see a vicious heel version of Cody Rhodes, against Goldust, and this is going to play out, in the coming weeks, leading into Wrestlemania, now, forget about that, so we've got, We've got that match, yes. right? I'm going to say Cody Rhodes against Goldust could be Stardust against Goldust. No, I think it'll be Cody Rhodes and uh, Goldust. Because they teased the Cody thing was coming back last night with the Goldust thing. Like you well, they just tease said. it. They pretty much tease it. I do. Don't you ever? Don't, I don't you even ever wanna, call me. Don't Cody. even. I don't even know who Cody Rhodes right. is. And then he finds Cody Rhodes, and Cody Rhodes has a mean streak, and he we got that. his brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got that. That's probably one of the matches at WrestleMania. Correct. Let's talk about Mizdow. And Miz. the Miz. Miz yeah. is on sirens, by the way. He looked pretty funny. Now listen, for that. Yeah. did they do this match at WrestleMania, or 
Or I think similar with sucks because you don't want to do them both in the same show. That's but what I'm saying. One of them's going to happen at Fastlane. Well, one of them's going to happen to happen on Raw then if they're not doing them both at Fastlane because it, if that's where they're going for Mania. No, Goldust and Cody maybe they do the, WrestleMania. No, I know, but maybe, but well, I know, but if the fucking end result is Goldust versus Cody Rhodes at Mania, and the end result is the Miz versus Mizdow at Mania, they've got to break both teams up, but before Mania happens. So what I'm saying is maybe the Gold Dust Stardust is exactly like we said. They break them up, and it's Cody Rhodes versus Gold Dust Mania. And then the Miz and Miz Dow are still a team by Mania, and then the change happens at Mania, where finally Miz Dow, Miz Dow has enough and snaps, turns on Miz, Miz and beats him up at Mania in like a match with the Ascension or, or something for the title. All right, you said that, that both of them pretty much are going to happen at WrestleMania. That's what you just said. I said if. If, if. Yeah. They, I, I said if they both happen at Mania, then you've got to break them up before Mania. But I, then okay. I just said they're not probably going to do that. They're probably going to have Gold Dust and Cody Rhodes broken up before Mania and then the singles match at Mania. All right. And then the other one, the Miz and the Mizdow, will still be a team going into Mania, but right. at Mania, Mizdow finally has enough of being pushed around and by the Miz. And they do it wrong he does the, No, he does the switch at Mania, turning on him. And then they build it up for the next pay per view, whatever right. it is. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, because they need something, something fairly big as far as storyline, current storylines is concerned. Yeah. I'm gonna say that it's gonna be Cody and Goldust at WrestleMania. I'm gonna say that the Miz Sandow. I'm gonna say <laughs> they do that at Fastlane. One of them is gonna what be at mean? Fastlane. The match One of them. Dude, you're you're the saying it'll be stuff. the Miz versus Mizdow at Fastlane? They're gonna rush. That's too. They are gonna they are gonna rush. They just it, switch and they do Mizdow's it gimmick all the time. They do it all the time where they, they rush things. Yeah, and but they like, just switch his gimmick. They can't have him change his gimmick and already drop the gimmick by the time. I don't think they should, but I think one of those matches, whether it be Goldust well, and Cody, then. okay. Uh, I see what you're saying. Right, right, right. There's no way. I'm yeah. saying that they rush it all the time. Where in two weeks. Like next week, bang, right. we get the split. It's the following good. week, bang, we get it at well, the same review. Just like that. One of them is going to happen yeah. that way. The other one, they're gonna. It's going to be a long drawn out feud. And that would be the one you would draw out. The bro- the real brothers. The real brothers yeah. you would draw out. I'm going to say okay. that the Miz and Sandow next week, boom. Uh, Miz Dow has enough. They could. The following week, boom, they do it. They, they always rush. Okay, well, they could because he went from a stunt double to his personal assistant, and Miz is going way overboard with the go get my smoothie, uh, and every, especially during right, Raw, right. when Sandow would try and play to the crowd, hey, you stand there and you do nothing, and if you take your glasses, you put them back on, Next. blah, 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 quit stealing my, you just stand there and keep quiet. And you see Mizdow kind of like getting like motherfucker. Well, motherfucker. So, next, oh, yeah. week, next week on Raw, Mizdow says, I've had enough. Lays him out. The following week, we I get it. I think we get one more week of a tease, and then the next week they do it. And Probably. It, yeah. But I think Miz... If they're doing it your way. Miz so. and Sandow is going to be rushed, and it's not going to happen. That match is not going to happen at WrestleMania. Miz and Mizdow is going to happen at Fastlane. Well, it could they're still happen at back. Mania. They could do it at Fastlane and get like a do fuck a you rematch, finish. And then yeah, the real match is at like Mania, that. yeah. All right. But the brothers, like you said, yeah. that's going to play out. Yeah, the they're still doing the subtle thing. teases there. The Miz Mizdow so. is pretty blatant. You stand there, you know, barking yeah. orders and yeah, Mizdow yeah, yeah, yeah. getting sick of it. Right. Plus, they, got, they showed Mizdow kind of teasing a thing at the Royal Rumble. Where he got his number called and Miz came out. No, no, I'm going back in. You stand <laughs> right, there. Right, right, right. And Miz got knocked down and Mizdow kind of looked like, should I go in? Should I go in? You <laughs> yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So they've already been teasing that for a while. Well, and, then a- got, and then the heat got turned up last night. Whereas Goldust Stardust, the heat hasn't even been turned up yet. They're just kind of doing Except the teases still. Very, su- very slow. Well, the, the, the subtle, I thought you were going to say subtle teases. It went from a subtle tease to the backstage segment kind right. of turn it up a little bit well, but they're not firing it up the way they're firing up Miz and Mizdow already and, and like you said with Mizdow I mean the Miz was in a match last night and Mizdow got up on the ring apron and yeah. was like yeah, 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 yeah. As the cra- and Miz was like get the fuck down get down what are you, there what are you doing? quiet and stand right. there right yeah. so they're really heating that they're up they're my like personal assistant go get me a smoothie they're really heating Extra that up strawberries and it came on pretty fucking quick man yeah, in the yeah, last yeah. so alright is that it for Raw well, well, I mean you have to look um, yeah, one. I think I feel like we're missing a couple things. We're missing something. Some we had the main cool event. Too. All right, let me let me scroll down Around here. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Um, Big Show beat Reigns. That was weird. Um, that was weird. Yeah, he beat Reigns him. Getting beat. He's in the title contender match and he's getting beat. Right. Uh, Axel was don't turn the channel. Um, that was that. We the had ascension. The goal. Ascension. We talked about that. We already talked about that. That was the gold of Stardust tease. Right. Uh, uh, Cena brought back Ziggler, uh, Harper. 
or Harper, Ziggler, Rowan, and Ryback, and then that led to Ryback and Luke Harper. Right, uh, right. Did, did anything even happen in Harper, Ryback? Oh, uh, God, it was, uh... The, uh yeah, nothing uh, happened of significance there. Right? Yeah, okay. nothing big there. And then we had Cesaro with Jimmy yeah, Uso. That was, was kind of thrown out there. Yeah. It was like a filler match type thing. Which was funny, because uh, in the play-by-play, I was about to write, why don't they do the swing anymore, the Cesaro swing? And they did it in the match. Right, right. <laughs> we had uh, Dolph Ziggler against Bray Wyatt. We talked about Something that about earlier. That. Um, we Paige had Paige and Alicia Fox. Fox. I'm telling you, dude, both of them. Alicia Fox. You know what? I got a big crush on Alicia Fox, man. Me too. I got a, I got a crush on both of them. I used, both to, I used to think Paige wasn't hot. I know. I changed my mind. She's you hot. came around, right? Watching her on Total Diva, she's, she's got hot. like a sex appeal about her. Ah, she's hot. Interesting about this match, it's Black History Month, and they uh, did the first video package for Ernie Ladd. At the end of the match, yeah. they spray painted her black almost. Like it was spray tan, so it was brown, but it was really dark brown. So they spray pale. <laughs> I ain't going they there. They spray man. painted a very pale white chick black. Kind of iffy timing on that, because I believe it was right after they aired the Ernie Ladd thing, too, if I'm not mistaken. I ain't going it, there. It man. wasn't too far <laughs> after or before, but look, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just telling you what happened. Um, That's. Vin. Yeah, I, I don't you know. You know what? racism, you never it's know, Vince. man. I'm telling you. I think it was more, it was clearly a shot at Paige being pale, but just bad timing to do that now. The timing is not a coincidence. It's maybe, maybe. Uh, all right, so there you go with that. Sin Cara and Miz, that's where we got the Miz down. That's where we had Miz down. He was up on the apron. And oh, Miz the Rusev and, uh, and uh, Eric Rowan, the thing to talk about here is they went to drop the Russian flag after the match, and it got stuck. Listen, and they improvised and said, oh, Cena probably had something to do with it. All that. right, yeah. let me ask you something. So that was, I haven't heard this. An accident? That was an accident? I took it when watching it live that it was supposed to happen. I did too. I heard after the fact that it wasn't, and it they just wasn't. did a great job covering really? it. Really? Yeah. Okay. That's what I heard. I'm going to go know. with you then. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. right, all right, because I thought... I, know, they did a great job covering it. Right. Because as soon as it happened, the crowd popped like crazy. And, they and went Rusev, crazy. And Rusev and Lana is, oh, what the fuck, in the right, ring. Right, and right. Rusev starts swinging the fire on the pole that he's got. Right. When the announcers, start to get the another announcers, flag, like, announcers are covering it on TV. John Cena had something to do with that, blah, blah, blah. So they covered brilliantly if it was a mistake. If I don't know if it was a mistake, personally. All right. All right. But you I heard didn't, that it, I that didn't it. think it was a mistake. I heard it was a mistake. Okay. All right. No doubt. So. Um, and then the main event, dude. Well, backstage, the Daniel Bryan Reigns thing, we kind of talked about that. Where Bryan went in and tried to relate to Reigns, like, I know well, what you're going through, man. Get out of my locker the room. The authority fuck with me right. a lot, blah, 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 right. blah. And he's like, but if you think you're getting revenge on Seth Rollins at Fastlane, you think again because you're going to be facing me. Right, And right, that's right. when Reigns stood up and said, is that a threat? Yeah. And Daniel Bryan's like, no, what it, no, what it, and then Reigns cut him off. Wait, wait, it doesn't matter what it was. Get out of my locker room. I don't care what it was. Yeah. Get out of my locker. Right. Yeah, yeah. By the way, one other thing. was like, no problem. One other thing. Uh, Dolph Ziggler and Bray Wyatt, there were this is awesome chance during that match. It was so an awesome match. It was a great match. Yeah, 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 they yeah, had yeah. a really good match. And then uh, the main event, Dan and Bryan and this uh, Seth This was Rollins. a great this fucking was match. Very good as well. You know what? Man, yeah, go ahead. Hey, this is Brian Danielson against Tyler Black. I know. Ring of Honor, baby. They've got history. And Ring um, of Honor. Man, they did that one spot. Brian's coming fresh off of that neck injury, and they I did a spot know, I know. where it was like a big suplex to the, was it to the floor? Or something? Like off the top to the floor? I remember something the crazy. announcer selling it like, oh my God, I forget neck, what it was. And that I was, bad neck. Uh, yeah, I remember skimming when I was looking for uh, something earlier, and I was like, I can't find it. I gave up. But I remember when I was watching, I'm like, holy shit, that's a fucking dangerous move to do for a match that's right. not that important. Right. I mean, there was right, technically right. a lot riding on the line because it was for the winner who gets fast lane. But it's a fucking TV match. Don't do that on a TV match. Brian uh, hit a knee. That knee that he does, that big knee that he that he comes up yeah. with and and hit Rollins and uh, got the one. Two, well, three. yeah, that was set a up. lot of near well, falls. That was too. set up. That was set up. Roman Reigns had come out. Roman Reigns comes out. And right. he did the spear to either Mercury or Noble on the floor. And then if it, let's say it was Mercury, Noble then jumps in the ring with the briefcase, tries to hit Brian from behind. Reigns stops that guy with a Superman punch or a spear, I think. 
And then Rollins, while all the distractions happen, getting ready to get Brian, but Reigns hits him from the floor with a Superman punch. Right, he right. He turns around right into the right knee. Right into the knee. And right, then Brian right. pinned him one, two, three. Brian gets one, two, three. A lot of near falls uh, yeah. in that match, too. A great match. And then we yeah. go backstage, and Renee Young interviews Triple H, and he's fucking pissed because Daniel Bryan won instead of Seth Rollins. Right. And, oh, right. Well, what are you going to say? What do you think about it? Oh, everything I got to say, I'm going to say right now to Steve Austin. By the way, in an earlier segment with him and Stephanie, he was talking about how they were saying it's not even legal what we just did to make Rollins or Reigns put up his title shot at Fastlane. Right, but right. But we convinced right. him to do it anyway. Blah blah blah. blah. And Triple H is like, "That's what I do. I'm a master manipulator, just like I'm going to do with Austin tonight. I'm going to manipulate any." Because uh, Stephanie said, "Well, all you got left is the Austin thing. What are you going to do if he asks you questions?" Blah, blah. And he's like, "Don't worry, I'll manipulate it just like right. I did Reigns out there." Right. Which was kind of a dumb thing to do because it made it seem like Austin thing was part of a storyline, not a shoot interview, which is what it was. Right, right. And then right. they went back to the ring last thing, and uh, somebody was interviewing Daniel Bryan, and they started booing him. They did boo Bryan yeah, at the end of Raw. They started Raw. booing him a little bit. I know. And then he got him to do the yes chant. Which and was, Reigns yeah. was getting cheered. It was like yeah. Reigns was getting cheered. Bryan was getting booed, and it's, it's like, weird. Wait man. a yeah. minute. And they were what? where Denver last night. So. Denver, yeah. yeah. You never know. It man. was weird, man. It All was right. really weird. That was wrong. Now All that right. we're done, top to bottom. Now that I remember it, B B minus B B minus. Right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I would say a I would decent say a show. solid. I'd say a. A solid B. All right. A solid B. I'll go B minus. Listen. Okay. We got a ton of rapid fire questions that we got to get to. There's like 30 we got of them. Stone Cold Podcast. And we're going to talk about that now. Yeah. So there's about 30 rapid fire. We're going to have to do them in well, real rapid quick, fire questions. While we're talking about the Stone Cold Podcast, if you see any questions that pertain to the Stone Cold Podcast, throw them in. You know what I mean? I will do that. All right. All no right. doubt. So well, Stone Cold Podcast. Are oh, you want to do it? Okay. No, go ahead. I thought you were yeah. going to skim while I They went off the air. I mean, like Boone said, they did the Triple H promo before shooting back to Dana Bryan, but the Triple H promo was, if you want to hear my thoughts. Yeah, on and then you watched them happened, walk right into the Stone Cold room. Walked into the uh, yeah. the podcast room, and then, then as soon as Raw went yeah, off yeah, the yeah. air, boom! I mean, that started on. on the net. Well, that's how they did it with Vince, too, but yeah. it was funny. Remember how last time when it was Austin and Vince, and you were like, Austin's there, he's going to be part of the show, and I said... right. At best, they'll maybe show them backstage. They'll be hooking the mic up to a sweater. Right, right, right. They did that last they night. They did. The one did shot it. we saw was Austin sitting there, and they're putting the mic on him, and he's like, you know, asking questions. You know, let's talk about the high point. First of all, I thought the podcast was great. All right. Awesome, yeah. I thought it was awesome. Triple H, I thought was was honest. He I was mean, Triple H. Did he give corporate answers? Yes. Yes, he was Vince a politician. Vince gave corporate answers. He was being as politically well. correct the whole time. So was Vince. But yeah, let's talk about the main things that he talked. Yeah, but about. Triple H didn't say stuff like this. This generation doesn't want it as much as that Austin, generation. Brass ring. Austin. Cesaro doesn't have it. He wasn't Austin saying shit like that. Was great in his role. I He's mean, a great Austin interviewer. was not afraid no. to ask the hard questions. One thing that I will bring up, and it came later in the interview was China in the WWE Hall of Fame. Yeah. And Triple H basically said, let's be honest, China deserves to be in the WWE Hall on of Fame. On her skill set. Yeah, he said, on her skill if set. we're basing it on what she's accomplished in the business, she right. absolutely no question deserves to be in. She was but a trailblazer. Without, yeah. without specifically saying yeah. the word porn yeah. or X-rated, or sex he days. said, yeah. let's be honest, if you do a Google search for her, if is he, what he said. he said. No, if he said, if there's an eight-year-old kid who didn't doesn't know who China doesn't is, know who China is. He's like, and they hear us talking about it right now, and they Google China. Is, they Google China. Yeah, yeah. Let's be honest. What's gonna pop up? Yeah. And of course, all of us. We know what that means. Yeah. Know that? Yeah. Porn. And gonna then of pop course, up. any kids that are watching that don't know China and they hear that, oh, they're, they're gonna, gonna Google. About? Let's go they're see. gonna Google China. Yeah. And she was trending on Twitter last night. And I'm oh, sure shit. she was probably yeah. trending on Google and Yahoo and of everywhere course. else last night. But without saying the word porn and without saying X-rated or sex yeah. tape or anything strongly like that. Strongly alluded to it without saying Strongly it. alluded that, yeah. listen, we would love to put her in the Hall of Fame, but that kind of tarnishes her career. No, it tarnishes the Hall of Fame or whatever, I think. It, it, it At the tar- same time... Mike Tyson's in a convicted to, to me, rapist. To me, a convicted rapist. Mike Tyson. All right. To me, Pete Rose, a guy banned from baseball because he gambled illegally. To, you know. to me, and keep in mind that Triple H has dated China in the past. There's a history there. Yeah. To me, his response last night was, "We would like China to be in the WWE Hall of Fame, but 
she's made some bad decisions in her career that I'm thinking now, I don't think she's going to be in the Hall of Fame. Of course not. Due to what she has but, gone and done in her post WWE career, I, don't I think, think she's. Gonna I be think there. the mere fact that Austin brought it up and it became such a big story, there might be enough pressure about this China. Nobody even really talked about it in the past. Benoit came up a lot. You know, that's a controversial now, topic. Austin asked about Benoit last night. Did he? I missed it. He asked about Benoit, and and Triple H flat out said. No, it, I missed that one. I missed a lot. I was doing work and shit. So I was still doing raw play by play. I was so behind. But uh, I also talked about Punk real quick though about the Austin. Punk. So hold that thought and try and think of a, some stuff he said about Punk. Okay. I was just gonna say when we started, we were talking about how good of an interviewer Austin is. Mm-hmm. I think he's one of the not not one of. He might be the most underrated interviewer, and he might be the awesome. best interviewer in wrestling as far as shoot real wrestling interviews. If you think about it, and I've narrowed it down to a couple reasons why. Mm-hmm. A, because you don't listen to his podcast, do you? I, weekly, do. I, I do. do. And it's not just the Vince and Triple H interviews that were stellar. Anybody he interviews, he, he does, does that an, same thing. It's an amazing interview. Right. Better than the Jericho interviews, better than the Jim Ross interviews, better than the Roddy Piper interviews, Jesse Ventura, they've all got podcasts. Oh, can I say one thing? Over, real, can yeah, I say one ahead. thing? When Austin is asking the questions, right, I'm thinking to myself in my head, Austin, ask this, ask this. And he does. Yeah. He does it. Because I'm thinking, well, he does all right, research, if, yeah. you're, if you're going to ask about that, you got to follow up with this. And he does yeah. every time. And it just... Well, the follow-up part's one of the points I wanted to make. you got to be quick on your feet to ask follow-ups. Yeah. yeah. A guy like Austin, who is so good at promos in wrestling, right. is a guy that's quick on his feet. He'll hear yeah. the crowd, and oh, he'll, know yeah. to, he'll know to talk about this. Rock is the same way. He'll hear the crowd, oh, they like this tonight, let's yeah. go there. They don't like this, let's go away from that. You know, right. He's right. so right. quick on his feet that when he's interviewing somebody, he he knows the follow-up. He'll mm-hmm. hear them talk, and he'll be like, oh, I bet people want to hear that. Right. So he's good at that. He asks what the fans want to hear. That, and he does a lot of, he, that part is... He's quick on his feet, so he's right. just a naturally good guy in that sense. Right. B, he really does, and he talks about it. He does hours of research, looking up guys on the internet, Wikipedia, this and that. Just like I do when we do interviews, I try and get like a and whole career. And you can career. tell. He's got his, he's studied up, he's got his research, he knows yeah. everything there is to know. And if you do all your research, you know all the hot button things about a guy. Right. You research a guy, you're like, oh, he was arrested for this. Oh, yeah. he did this famous match, or he did this famous angle, or he was right. fired here. So he knows the cool hot button issues to talk about. Absolutely. And see, and this is the most important part. He's Stone Cold Steve Austin. Right. He's got so much respect with any wrestler that he'll talk to uh-huh. that he can ask them shit that everybody else would be afraid to ask. Uh, right. He can straight right. up ask it. And even right. when he asks hot button issues, sometimes he's like, if you don't want to talk about it, you don't have to. Most That's guys what though, he does though, and yeah. I respect that where he's no, just yeah. listen, I'm going to ask this I, right off the bat. Exactly. I'm going to ask. Like this. guys, I like gotta this. ask. Right. You don't have to answer, but I, everybody wants to know. He's so I've respectful. Gotta, I got to do my job. I got to ask. He's respectful in the way that he asks about it. But, but you're, you're focused you on the second ask. half. The first you're half right. is that right. everybody respects him so much Absolutely. because of who he is. Absolutely. That they're willing to open up to him. Whereas if me and you interviewed somebody, they wouldn't say as much to us as they as they would to Austin. Absolutely. Listen. Let's talk about CM Punk. Yeah. He basically said the same thing that Vince said, that I wish it would have worked out. What a political answer. Uh, You know, I wish it would have worked out, but there was one point, and I don't... He's real quiet. He keeps to himself. Keeps to himself backstage. He would just say, I had a problem with this. Maybe we could fix it, but he would never say anything. But CM Punk came out during his podcast, and I specifically remember CM Punk during his podcast saying, listen... I had a conversation with Triple H, and CM Punk asked Triple H, "Listen, you're not going to tell me that I'm not going to be in this movie. Yeah, 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 that yeah, Randy yeah. Orton got." And there was another movie. one too. You're not Rand- going to tell me that I'm not Randy movie. Orton got this movie role. Correct. And you're not going to even call me up and tell me that. And it was the European the tour. Anymore? And the right. European tour. He's like, "You're going to tell me that you don't know the dates of the European tour? You've been in this company 20 years. I've been in a 10. They're and the same time every year. And then you're going to tell me you don't know when they are? You've been on what 20 European tours? Right. And then you know Triple H, the same month every year. Triple H comes out last night and says, "Yo, we've I've, never had a problem I've, that I'm I've, aware of. I've yeah. tried to talk with him, but he's quiet. And well, he that. Want to talk. But he also said, "We've never. Who do you as, believe? As far as I'm concerned, Triple H says, as far as I'm concerned, we've never had a problem that I know of." And then Punk also made the comment on his shoot that he's like, anytime I'm in a meeting with Vince and Triple H is there, he's giving me a fucking look. A like, dirty like, look. Like, I don't right. like you. Right. And he'll even say, he said, Punk be like, I would be talking about Triple H while Triple H is standing there. I'd be talking to Vince about Triple H, 
how I don't agree with on this and that, and Triple H would be standing right there giving so me it's, dirty it's looks. Like, it's like so then when Triple, Triple H, H goes side, on, it, Triple H so then real quick, and then Triple H side, Triple H side, Triple H said point blank on that podcast on the podcast, the Steve Wilson podcast. He says, as far as I'm concerned, as far as I'm aware of, me and Punk have never had an issue. Give me a Please, break. that's Give the executive. I wear a suit, Triple H, right there. Give me a break, goddamn man. well they've had So, issue. it comes down to CM Punk says Even if this, Triple H doesn't have an issue with Punk, H he knows this, Punk has one with him. There's there's two sides, and to be honest with you, if I had to pick, I Punk. would probably believe CM Punk over Triple H. I would think the word Punk in that sentence. I, 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 I would believe H, CM Punk. Triple H was playing that corporate role last of night, saying, I, I don't have any problems. And you know why he's playing that? Because they would take CM Punk back in a heartbeat. They would take him back in a heartbeat. They know he's a draw. If they could get him back, but the problem is, he ain't coming back. Oh, he's going to be Punk fighting. ain't coming back. Yeah. So, all right. Anything else on that podcast that we really Oh, God, man. With? There was so many. If you guys haven't we checked out that issue, podcast, yeah. I want to get to this. Cause he was talking about his issue with here. Ultimate Warrior and getting Bruno back. He was talking about scripted promos a Well, lot. he said that, you know, as far as Bruno is concerned, Vince said, you can go ahead and try. Yeah. Well, it was the Warrior one that was more interesting. Well, with Bruno, yeah, yeah. Triple H said, you know, you can go ahead and try to get Bruno back, but Vince told him yeah. it's not going to happen. And Triple H said, all right, yeah. give me a chance. And he said what was hard about that was he had to get to know Bruno because Bruno didn't know me. Right, so he right. he had to know me to trust me, so it was a long process. Then he it, said it took talking, about eight months. And then when he was talking about Warrior, he was like, unlike Bruno, where Bruno didn't know me, Warrior did know me. Warrior and we had me. issues in the past. Right. If you remember, Triple H's first ever match at WrestleMania right. was against Warrior. And right. Warrior d refused to... Stiff them or something, right? It was supposed to be a 10-minute match, back and forth, this and that. Warrior refused, because it was Warrior's... So Warrior wasn't booked that year. It was a surprise comeback or something. And this is when Triple H wasn't Triple H. He was still Hunter Hurstelsley, okay. the, the pedigree right, guy. Right, okay. um, The blue blood. So, okay. Warrior refused to do anything but a 60-second squash. Really? I'm going to come in, you're going to do the try and do the pedigree, you're going to do it, I'm going to no-sell your finisher, <laughs> then I'm going to slam you, splash you, one, two, three. That's the only thing I'm willing to do. And it right. was Triple H's first WrestleMania, so he was like, man, he really ruined the experience for me. Right, right, So right. they had issues from that, and then Triple H had talked shit about him, and if you watch the Warrior documentary, Warrior, like, challenged him to a fight at one point. Really? Yeah, just like... But if you remember... Triple H say last night Randy that... Savage challenged Triple H to a fight, too, and we're, and that's covered in Savage's documentary. Didn't Triple H said last night, and maybe in the beginning days, what you're talking about, yeah, sure, there was some... Poly but... Triple H said last night that Warrior wasn't that bad of a guy. Like, all the stuff... He said years, once he got to know him, and they put that, what I just said, behind him... Put that him, aside. Yeah, he said, unlike Bruno, where he had to get to know me and trust me, and blah, blah, blah. He said, Warrior, we but, had issues. We had to fix those issues before we could even talk. But dude, that's, and then, yeah. that's in 2014. Yeah, Warrior's a changed yeah. man. But back when Warrior was in the business, yeah. Warrior was a dick. And and yeah. let's be honest. And I don't know bad about the guy because he just recently died, but he was still a dick. He was a dick, he man. Was a dick. And a lot of people say that. Yeah. And Triple H kind of covered it up last as as night. Business, where like Goldberg. Goldberg supposedly right. the nicest guy in the world. He's good with charities and children and pets. Right. But you try and do business with him, he's a and prick. Money and everything else. Warrior right. supposedly the same way. He's a great guy with <laughs> kids and this and that. But when you try and do business with him, oh my god. Goldberg came supposedly. out. Goldberg came out in a moment. recent interview, and he, I remember the quote. He said, yeah, I'd come back if the money was right. I know that. If you the money was, that? If the he money said was, if the money was right. He said that a million times. He said, right. He's also said if the money's right and as long as they knew how to use me the right way. He's like, the money was right last time I worked there and they, they, did, they made Well, there you stupid. go. It comes down to he's a great guy with he wants, pets and charities and things like that. Business. But it comes time to do business. Yeah. You give me if everything I want. Right, you got you that me, money. You give me all the money I want. You let me do whatever I want and I'll work for you. Like, no, that's not how right. it works, bro. I get the charities. I get the pet thing. I get yeah. all that stuff. But business. Well, in general, he's a good guy. Oh, Just money. Some people are like that. You could be the nicest guy in the world. But when sure. it comes down to business, they're going to fight. They're all about that ego in the bank. Right? Maybe not even ego. Just as a matter of like, yo, it's business. I'm going to get what I want, or I'm not going to do business with you. You ready for this? I'll do business with somebody else. We got eight minutes. Let's roll. We got eight minutes. Yeah. Here we go. We're taking the good ones. We're skipping the bad ones and the stuff we've already answered. Anthony Remy, and Vince of Triple H. Uh, the podcast last night, he says Vince. What about I say Dow? Triple H. You really think Triple H was better I than say, Vince's? I say Triple H. You're crazy. Mike Butler, with Wyatt and Undertaker looking like a lock, 
looking like a lock now. You do you guys think Taker will put Wyatt over at Mania as the new face of fear that Wyatt calls himself? Taker loses twice in a row at Mania. I think if if Taker works again, yeah, he loses. He loses. Yeah, I think so. Well, maybe not. I don't know. I think it. You, ask me two questions. First question. Okay. Who do I think should win? Taker or Wyatt? Wyatt. Okay. He's staying. Taker's I agree. not. I agree. Pass that I'm the dead evil guy torch to the new dead evil guy, Wyatt. That's the right So move. you're going to tell me that Taker went 21-0, and 0, and then the last five matches, or however many more he's got left in his career, he's going to lose them all? That's the other question. Ask me the second question. Who do I think's going to win? Who do you think's going to win? Well, does Taker really go out... His final match ever, losing his second Mania in a row. After I don't know if this is his final match ever. Well, actually, next year is supposed to be the last match ever. In Dallas, where he's from, Texas, right. retirement match. They, they they even said he might go for the title, right. so it's either he becomes champion, legendary he's, again, he's gotta, or he retires. He's got to win, he's gotta win the rest of them, man. It can't be like, yeah, I went 21-0, and 0, but then I lost Michael's the last right. three straight. It's like, yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't even know if it matters now. It's not that important anymore. Taker's streak isn't on the but line. But you want to go out. The last image no, you want to no. see of Taker is not him laying on his back. It's him I know. doing the hell thing to the gods. And exactly. The all final moment of Taker. <coughs> uh, Tom Nelson, if Rollins cashes in on Reigns at Mania, could happen at Fastlane. Or, no, Mania. We were talking no, about that earlier. Champ at Mania. If Fastlane. Rollins he's cashes champ. in <laughs> exactly yeah. uh, on Reigns at Mania, does that make him Milan uh, uh, an instant babyface? Whatever. You're, whatever you're I don't know what that means. Yeah, instant babyface. Um... If he cashes in... Well, no, they would pop for it. Rings. They would pop for it, but I don't think... No, it doesn't make him a mince baby face no. at all. No, 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 no. Uh, oh, Brandon Brown. Did you hear Michael Cole say last night Cena versus Rusev at Fastlane was supposed to be at Mania? Was that a mistake or not? No, it wasn't a mistake. It, uh, they, they're trying to get it over that this match was supposed to happen at Mania, but they're doing it at Fastlane now, you know, so... They're doing it at Fastlane, but I don't They're going to do it know. again, maybe. I mean, they announced it on SmackDown last week or whatever, and, yeah. and they're going to do a rematch. It did come off as a mistake because nobody knew that, so maybe it was a mistake. I don't know. I don't Jason Hansen. Wow, Diaz failed the drug test for marijuana, and Silva failed the drug test for steroids, slash two types of PEDs. I just read this. Okay, you uh, keep, you thought keep, you're doing the next few because I Silva need to look was this up. tested January 9th, and Diaz results are post fight. So that's that. Jordan Paul, you don't know about that. Yet? Dude, uh, Jordan, it just came out during the Jordan show. Paul Paveo, have you seen the article on Yahoo.com titled Three Seasons Why WWE Is Doomed"? I have not seen that yet. David Hadley. You oh my God, he's right! Wow! So Holy we gotta, shit! We gotta go. Let me read this. Oh, it's too long. Yeah, bro, I'll read David, this. I'll, I'll Anderson read. Silva test positive for two PEDs. Nick Diaz over the limit for marijuana. Men. Oh, my God. I'm going to continue. You read that, and Please then we got to get out of here. David Hadley, do you think WWE may go the route they did with WrestleMania 10 again, both Brian and Reigns challenging Lesnar in separate singles matches? Yes, he got it up. Thank uh, you. Uh, okay. it, is, it is possible. Christopher Brown with recent appearances by the Boogeyman. Well, nobody knew that the Boogeyman was, you know, had his face covered uh, last night on Raw. Man. Um, does Wyatt face The Undertaker? Have you ha heard anything about this? As of now, yes, Wyatt against The Undertaker is scheduled to happen. Well, I tell you, every Steve week Reddy, during WCR, I know. right before WCR, breaking MMA story. Right after WCR, breaking wrestling We're going to get, out of, We're gonna get out of here so you can go do more on that yeah. um, here. Steve, wow. Steve Riddy, Rollins cashing in on Reigns to end WrestleMania was my thought process, but if Holy Reigns is heel going into Mania, who plays heel coming out? This is what happens with breaking news. When we got 600 up. shares on that post already on our site. Hey Boone, since Clark always beats you around the bush, can you clarify if Josh Barnett will ever be a guest on the show? Yes, he will, and I promise you. I keep telling him, book him whenever you want. I will contact you this know. week. Uh, Anthony Remy, thoughts on Justin Gabriel quitting WWE? I attended PWS this, set, this past Saturday, and here's a picture of Justin Gabriel. We just put up a big story more on why he quit WWE. We just put it up on the uh, on the website. That's awesome. Yeah. So uh, check it out. I think it's about the second or third post down. 
Steve Riddy again. Oh, God the, bless you, Charlotte. When is the watching. Viper making his return to fast lane? Yeah. Oh, we need to address that real quick. It was rumored that he was in the crowd covered up last night. Right. It, it was wasn't. the boogie man. I talked about that oh, uh, earlier up. Okay. Uh, David Adley, do we see Rollins versus Orton at WrestleMania? Yes, that's the rumored uh, match. Yeah, it looks like that. Yeah. Vincent Nugent, Ryan, any sort of updates on any guest appearing at WZR? Trying to get all these guys, man. Trying to get all these guys. Uh, Lance Winter, Triple H said he's training Sting versus uh, Triple H at WrestleMania. Not at this year. Uh, yes. Oh, Sting, Triple H? Yes, they are and going Triple that Triple H, they, they asked him right at the end, is he going to wrestle ever again? Stone Cold asked him, and Triple H basically said... Oh, Stay tuned. He said that, but he said, I've, that's, I've been training two two times a day, every day. Am I training? Uh, what am I training so He's for? in the middle of training as we speak for that match. All right, what do we got? We'll pick some good ones out, because Boone's got to get Go this ahead. stuff. I, my brain's somewhere else right now. Joseph right. Gallo, uh, what first? Chris Benoit in the Hall of Fame, or Chris Benoit's son in WWE? Chris Benoit's son in WWE before You'll his never father. see Benoit in the Hall of Fame. It's not going to be in the Hall of Fame, man. David Adley, Bully Ray with WWE or not. As of right now, no, not he under contract. Be, but yeah, not yet. Uh, he's confirmed for the next House of Hardcore show on March 7th. That's House of Hardcore 8. He is not under contract. It was a one-time deal. That? They are in talks with... Uh, uh, he's in talks with WWE What though. a dumb move. Sign him. Uh, let's see. Joseph Gallo, why it seems to me like Luke Harper isn't getting used and Dean Ambrose is a mid-carder. Yeah. Seth Rollins is the guy from The Shield and Roman Reigns. You can have more than one guy. And by the way, Ambrose is a face, Rollins is a heel. You should still be making something out of Ambrose. Trying to take new guys here. Boone, take a look at this. Just broke on Yahoo. That's the Anderson Silva Uh, stuff. I want to give credit to the guy who first posted it. You need to let me... Uh, Way up there. Let me see. It was like the second one down. Get it? Very, very top. Very, very top. Way up here. It was the very top. Right there. Jordan Jordan Paul Pavale. Thank you so much, man. Wow. All right, we are going to get that up. That's why we're kind of in a rush to I've get out of here. I've already got it up. MMANews.com's got all the details if you need the details. Uh, David Adley, do you think Triple H versus Sting may be a six-man tag team match since The Rock and Triple H? Fuck no. Man? No, not a WrestleMania. That's a dude. one-on-one doing battle, yeah. Um, Jackie, we're not taking phone calls Sorry. tonight with the breaking news. We were going to yeah. try, Plus but we're, over right we're now, running anyway. late. Uh, Lance Winter, don't think so, Jackie. And Vincent Nugent, one last one. What's up with certain fighters in UFC failing drug tests? There you go. As of late this year, what are your thoughts on these? Uh, Yeah, man, listen, it's becoming a big issue. And another issue is they said this year, last year we had so many main events, fights canceled, this and that. This year it's happening again. It is. Fucking um, Dominic Cruz was supposed to fight DJ Dillashaw for the Bantamweight title. Right. Out for another year is Dominic Cruz. Right. Fucking, we just lost the main event for UFC 60. It was going to be Stephen Wonderboy Thompson versus Brandon Thatch. Thompson went out with an injury. It ended up turning out to be better because Benson Henderson, former UFC lightweight champion, is going to make his debut right. at welterweight as the replacement for Thompson. We lost the main event just yesterday for UFC one, uh, UFC Fight Night 63. It was going to be Uriah Faber versus Raphael Sunsal. Sun Sal got injured. He's out. And then, of All course, sorts of stuff, man. then, of course, we lost the UFC 184 main event. Chris Weidman, Weidman Vito Brett. So that's three or four main events we've lost. Listen. And we're in the fucking third day of the second month. Every that many main Tuesday event. night, whether it be WWE no, or no, no, UFC it's the or I'll, MMA. I'll tell you what it is. Every Tuesday night, usually before or during the show, MMA. Huge story breaks because then i got to race to get it up before the show. Or it's during the show where I can't get it up. WWE or TNA stories break as soon as we go off the air because then we have to wait a week to talk about them and it's old news by then. It never fails, man. I even joked with my boss today about that. I said, I guarantee you some kind of big story will break right around WZR time. And sure enough, that's a huge story. So with that being said, we are out of here, guys. Sorry for rushing through uh, Rapid Fire tonight. Got to go get this story up. He's got it. MMANews.com. Yes. He's going to provide a lot of updates on that. Correct. I'm sure you'll be checking. You'll see release uh, a statement, by with, the way. We got that at MMANews.com. You'll be checking with different people. Yes. I'll uh, put that up on my MMA site as well. So you're going to be covering that tonight. Correct. WWE SmackDown spoilers. As of right now, we don't have any correspondence, and nobody has any correspondence. Well, your so, phone's in there, so you don't know. We might want to uh, have one by now. We'll see what happens. I'm going to go check and check the email. I didn't get a chance to do that True during the commercial break. But... Um, we will definitely have WWE SmackDown spoilers. They're on a two-hour delay in Colorado anyway, so it's 10 o'clock here. Hours. It's only 8 two? o'clock oh, there. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. Colorado, I used to live in Colorado. Two-hour yeah, delay. So we'll see what happens, but it's going to be a late night anyway. Uh, 
feedback. I don't know if you heard me, asshole. <laughs> we want your feedback. Tell them how they can submit feedback. Facebook.com slash Matt Boone WZR for me. Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WZR for him. Let us know what you thought. Let us know what you liked. We'll do more of it. Let us know what you didn't like. We'll do less of it. Unless that includes weather talk or politics or broken car issues. He won't be able to help himself. And then he'll snore when I even mention it, let alone not do a 20-minute rant about it like he did when I was snoring. We want your thoughts. Let us know. Facebook.com slash Matt Boone WGR. Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WGR. Ryan Clark, get us out of here. And let me tell you something. Tell us something. For those who stay tuned for the WZR TV post show. Yes. I'm not going to talk anymore. Stay tuned. The stream stays it's up. It's always fun. The, the stream stays up when we go off the last air. Last few weeks. It's been a lot of fun. you know. It Did, uh, did he put it as part of the archive? We go away. Do you know? He does not. He doesn't? It's okay. not on the archive. Good. It's a post show. It shouldn't so be. So when we walk off and I do the final thing, we come back Show's about... not over yet. We come back about Encore. five minutes later. Yeah. And we take down the whole set. And sometimes... Special guests. Special guests. Mm-hmm. Do show up. Okay. Jacob's been here. Kai, we have a new bunny, by the way, Matt. Kai, we didn't bring that up yet. Has, has yeah. been here, and uh, to somebody tonight. Man. I think Jacob's out there sleeping, but somebody tonight is gonna make their debut. Debut, right here, right here, in about five minutes. Oh, I just spoiled it. I'm sorry. Four, me. <laughs> that's me. I'm Ryan Clark. Hey, that's him. Spoiler. I didn't know. We don't like to do too much. Yeah, yeah, baby. We'll see you next Tuesday yes, night, at 10 Eastern Time, on WZR Online. Yeah. Dot com. Dot com. Oh, yeah. You. We don't like to do too much.